It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and guess who's back? Hey. Guess who's back? I'm going to hey. tell you something. Andrew don't even look real to me. You know how you see people on TV all the time, yeah. and then you meet him, and you're like, damn, I'm sitting by this dude. Andrew done got swole a little bit. Come on, bro. Come heavy, on, heavy. Bro. Heavy D. <laughs> I'm taking on all haters, bro. <laughs> Wax is here. You. Uh, Taylor's over here, too. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It looks like Schultz been working out with Logan Paul, bro. So I'll be out there. It's Miami, bro. The Paul brother, brothers are out there. They live in Miami? No, nah, I think they're in Puerto Rico right okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. Shout out to uh, No Taxes, man. The training. Logan yeah. supposed to come. Um, he yeah. might He might be on Breakfast Club this week. Really? Yeah, I saw him on the schedule, but it said pending, oh, so I don't know. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. But listen, man, we happy to be here uh, an, another week. Um, how you feeling, man? How you feeling to be back in New York? Bro, it feels... Uh, Seeing people just look unhappy walking, I forgot that. <laughs> it's always New York. But, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I forgot that because in Florida, you don't see anybody walking. Mm -hmm. And when you do, they're kind of happy. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go do something. Right? They're like, I got to go do something. Or I'm yeah. going to go run an yeah. errand. Or I'm just taking a walk in the neighborhood, right? Like I lived in this Haitian neighborhood and Haitians love to just like walk the neighborhood. It's just amazing. So they're so friendly. They're waving. And I was just walking. There was this girl walking down the street. We're walking on other, other sides. And um, I just I just smiled. You know, because that's what I'm used to doing yeah, to strangers, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, and she just, <laughs> she turned her body 45 degrees. She just went like that as if we were walking, like as we walked by yeah, each other, just gave me no look, whatever. I'm like, I'm back. I'm back yeah, in New York. That's the New York culture shock. That's how it was for me when I first moved up here. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah, But then yeah, you realize yeah. how stupid that is when you're walking down a, a block in Manhattan. You can't say hi to everybody you can, you that can. passes. Yeah, you it's slow down. I get it. I grew up with it, but it's weird to like just have it smacked in the face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But uh, I also heard an Asian accent for the first time in four months. Really? <laughs> There's like no Asians in, in Florida. And I uh, just when I came in the building. Yeah, it's my really? guy downstairs. Yeah, yeah, the guy downstairs. Yeah, I was like, what floor it is? And then he just said it. I was like, ooh, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What about your anxiety? Did you being back in New York make your anxiety go through? Oh, the dude, I forgot the feeling of walking down the street thinking, yo, is he going to punch me in the face? <laughs> 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 like, you know, I forgot that feeling because I had a fucking, you know, backyard and a pool chilling. and shit. Yeah. Like, so yeah. I never, well, I was in the safety of that. But walking down the street, you're just looking at someone like, yo, is that the guy? Yeah, people in New York have to do something. That's why they upset. People in Miami just going to do something. They, they, if they want to, they do. Or if not, Florida is great. Yeah, hey, man, Florida's I love chilling, New York. Man. I'm going to get back in the swing of, sh of shit. But, uh, but there is a calm and an ease to Florida. Like, I understand why people retire in Florida. Yeah, exactly. or Jersey. Yeah, out it's, the way. well, explain yeah. Jersey. Well, because Jersey different. is quiet. I mean, yeah. depending on what part of Jersey you're yes. in, mm. but it's more suburban. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's greenery. You know, yeah. you can have a pool. Like you can really live in Jersey. Yeah. To me, when I'm in it's New York, I'm like always uptight, hustling. Have yeah, to do it. man, have I'm to do always something. wound yeah. up. But I like that. That's inspiring for me for comedy. Yeah. Like I was too comfy to write jokes. Really? In Florida. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Way too wow. Well, explain that. That's interesting. Because I like writing jokes about people being outraged about something. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care what it is you're outraged, but like when you're really pissed off about something, yeah. I like taking it away from you. It's yeah. fun. It's like my way of like, and I've been doing this since I was a kid. The more yeah. upset someone gets, I'll be like, man, you're not really mad. But what if it was like this? Like, that's just kind of who yeah. I am as a human. But out there in Florida, like, nobody's upset about nothing. Yeah. At least in Miami. Yeah. They just spend time with their families. They're just enjoying life. Like, they're getting drunk. They're partying. But no one's, like, upset. Yeah. And just walking down the street in New York, I'm like, oh, this is this yeah, what jokes are made out of. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're back. <laughs> I get what you're saying. It's just not good for me. Meaning, like. Oh, it's bad for you. I it's, loved. I, 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 I know for a fact I operate better when it's conflict. I know that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, when it, when excited, it makes yeah, yeah, I don't know why. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, okay. It gets the blood cool. rushing a little mm -hmm. bit. Like, mm -hmm. you, you know don't know I mean? why. You grew up with conflict. I, I know, but that's your you're comfort right. zone. No, no, you're right. You're right. And that's not good. Yeah. I talk to my therapist about that all the time. No, you're absolutely right. You grow up with conflict, and that is your comfort zone, but you shouldn't be comfortable with it. And it's, so, it's to the point that when you don't feel it, you now think something wrong. That's my problem right now. Right yeah. now, I don't have to be like wilding, but you should see me. I'm like booby trapping everything. I'm going crazy. I'm yeah. like, oh, do I really have to do this? Yeah. But I have to do this. If yeah. I don't do that, I feel like I put my guard down. Yeah. That's a problem. And that's yeah. what it gets you. That's what I'm going to get me. Yeah. Like, fuck that. And that's how I was the other night. We had uh, the, the, the guy came to put lights in the yard. Mm -hmm. And so my wife's like, I'm going outside, you know, to, to go look at the lights. It's like nine o'clock. 
I grabbed a machete. You know what I mean? You have to check it out. Flashlight, something. And she was like, You don't need that. I was like, No, I don't need the guns, but I'm going to take the machete. You, <laughs> you, went, know? you were with your wife in the backyard? In the front, we went to the front yard. For the front yard. Yeah. So you brought a machete to the front yard. Just be, hey, man, it's nine o'clock at night. Listen, I mean, don't, don't practice bad habits. Don't okay. practice bad habits, man. That's and all. You, do you have like neighbors and stuff that can see you? Uh, sort of, kind of, not yeah. really. Okay. Not really. Sort of, kind of. I mean, they next door, but they got, it's like trees and stuff. So Guys, this really is see. why they call the cops on black people in the neighborhood. <laughs> I just want to let you know. Okay, don't ever, don't ever listen to that bullshit. Like, I was just walking around my front yard. You have a machete. It's my yard, though. <laughs> you have a machete but what, in your fucking okay, yard. But what, okay, that's what a if third you're world on, instrument. You don't use a machete. But what if you you're sitting on acreage? Say what? What if you're sitting on acreage? Well, then you don't Bears. got neighbors to call the cops on you. Hey, that's true. Also, you're not going after a, a bear with a, a machete? Raccoons? Maybe out there. You just don't know, man. I got that. What I said is true. fire, bro. I got that fire. I keep that, too. But that's... I didn't feel like I needed that in that moment. That's my wife said. You don't need the machete. No, I don't need the gun. Okay, Mm. but (laughs) shit. All right. That's what I don't need. When would you take a machete before a gun? I would always take a gun. I would always, but I was just going to the front yard for a second. It's just a little thing. It's real quick. You know what I mean? It's in the front yard. Looking at the lights. That's all. That's all. It just makes you feel at ease. My daddy always told me that. That's why my daddy. You know, ended up tasing them people at Jet Stadium yeah. back in the I day. Always got something he, with you. You never it. know. <laughs> All of my places that actually beat people up was really places that I, it wasn't supposed to happen. Like, what do you mean? Like church, I beat people up at church. Oh I had problems at Harvard. I had problems at like different places. Where you beat you up somebody like, at Harvard? I ain't beat them up, but it's like we had problems at Harvard. Harvard's a different though. I mean, Harvard is like the elite kids, you know. And you wouldn't think there'd be no you, problems. You, church, same thing. Yeah. You, you know what else about Harvard though? <laughs> what? To talk to what we're talking about, <laughs> Harvard is such a, a privileged, elitist school. They don't have too many problems. Yeah, so they got to solve. <laughs> you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. You know that was years ago though. But yeah. then we were good because I, I told the students, I said, "Yo, let's just have a conversation." Yeah, you know what I mean? It. Like, let's talk about it. And that's what we did. We sat down in the um, the, the auditorium and we just had a conversation. We spoke. Yeah. You know, so I could explain to them where I'm coming from and they could explain to me where I'm coming from. Because honestly, and I, I think I told them this, y'all are way more smarter on, uh, y'all, y'all are way more smarter on this issue than I am. Mm. So I can't offend you because I'm too stupid to even know what offends you. Mm. You know? So we were just having, a, it was just a conversation. That's all it was. It was It was that. But sometimes it's the dumb shit that does offend people. It's always ignorant. Eh, not you, always, but a lot of times it's it. ignorance. Well, ask the question though. Yeah. Like if you hear me say that statement, right? Don't just be like, oh, well, he's transphobic. Ask me what I meant by that. Yeah. Because my thing is. Or ask me if I'm transphobic. Like why don't people ever ask you? Like what if someone was like, yo, yo, you're like what you said was racist. And and if they were just like, yo, are you racist? And then someone was like, yeah, I'm, I'm racist. Like, well, I, people want to know the reason. Like, but, no, people but, have to know the but, reason. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, but you can say something racist without being racist. Or I you could, could be uh, racist uh, without even knowing. Yeah, or I could, huh? <laughs> you could be racist without knowing. Like there's so many people well, racist you mean unconscious without knowing. bias. Uh, unconscious bias. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, like, you like, could say something racist but not be racist. That's what I just said. No, nah, like I'm saying, like there's so many people out there. They don't even realize they're racist because they don't think what they're saying is wrong. People forget. It's I not get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. They'll say things like, "That's how they are." It's I get what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get what you're saying. It's not racist. It would be prejudice, wouldn't it? Be? I think racism is just prejudice based on race. Yeah, racism, yeah. prejudice against or antagonist toward a person or people on the basis like of sexism them. like like dudes just, back in the day didn't think that they were sexist right they were just oh, like oh yeah nah women, yeah. women yeah. that yeah. literally were like women yeah. are not smart enough to vote they can't handle yeah. that and they didn't even think that was sexist they're like we're gonna let them vote like yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that um that goes back remember I was talking about the book Sword and the Shield no. and I was saying how if Martin Luther King Jr. was alive now they would call him misogynistic and sexist Yo, but during the time that he came up in men didn't think women should be in leadership positions yeah. Now he would have evolved. I'm sure he would have. Of course. You know what I mean? Because yeah. even, even Malcolm Times. evolved. And I'm, I'm learning that as I'm reading the book. Malcolm evolved and he made a conscious effort, you know, to try to empower women yeah. and put women in yeah, leadership yeah, positions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, his, uh, I think it was his cousin or his sister. I think it was his sister. Right. His sister was one that he really empowered a lot. But um, yeah, Martin didn't know he was being misogynistic or sexist. That's just what the Times yeah, told him to, to yeah, do, yeah, 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 you know? Yeah. Yeah. And the same thing with being transphobic. I could say something that's transphobic and not know I'm being transphobic. Yeah. That's why you got to have a conversation. Just school me. Yo, I was thinking about this. I don't know nothing. This recently, like. <laughs> that's the, that's, Wax well, got well, the well, best well, way. Well, I don't that? know nothing. I, I don't really know don't nothing. Know. Yeah, set the expectations low. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Anything you tell me, that's what, that's what, yeah. that's what on paper. Oh, uh, that's brilliant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But may, yo, maybe that's the best way. I mean, that's the easiest way to go through life, for Stay sure. Because if you fuck up, yeah. people just go, oh, he didn't know. Wax, 
You know what I mean? It's like when a puppy shits on the floor, you can't get angry at the puppy because the puppy don't know where to shit yet. No, nah, he should so know now. If you, but as an adult, yeah, so you yeah, only yeah, got yeah, so yeah, much yeah. puppy time. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like you've been a puppy too long, then people are going to start to be like, Wax, we told you you're not allowed to Word just put shit in people's pockets. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> like, that's the right, first right, time right. you can do it, but then after a while, they're like, yo, yeah, I think gotta grow with that. I got to grow with that. We got to fire him from the coat check. Oh, well, Wax said too, and he said um, they put it on paper. Once you put it on paper, and I if I know the rules, now it's on me. Cause that's I know. right. That's okay. right. Yes. If I know the rules, if I yes. know the rules and break them, that's on me. If I don't know what the rules are, can I? It's like how bad can you really be at me? I was thinking about this uh, a yeah, little yeah, bit you lately. Don't about usually be that though. They still mad over something that you did. It's like that wasn't the real problem then. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I was thinking about this though. Martin Luther King and Gandhi. Why they're the fucking goats? Talk to me. They understood the power of shame and it's easy how, how do I say this like if you don't have the power to fight back against somebody you can shame them into doing what you want mm -hmm. right and like Gandhi understood that shit he was like yo look the more evil the English empire looks right by denying us what we deserve the more pressure they have to change right Martin Luther King understood, like, yo, if there are pictures of them sicking dogs on us and shooting us with the fucking fire hoses yeah. oh, absolutely. and ripping us out of buses and ripping us out of these uh -huh. things when we're just peacefully being here, it's impossible for the rest of the world to look and not see that as disgusting, right? Uh -huh. It is so much easier when you see an act of aggression, even from an oppressed minority, when you see them being aggressive, mm -hmm. it's easier to be like, well, I guess they are like that. Yeah, 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 Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, like, what happened? It's we the power saw the media, the, and it's the power of the media because you can spin it. We saw it with the Black Lives Matter yeah. movement, right? We saw like uh, some uh, shops get broken into, and everything immediately. All the people who didn't want to get on board with the Black Lives Matter movement were like, yeah. "Well, I can't support that. Yeah, I can't yeah, support yeah, shops yeah, getting broken yeah. into." Yeah. It's a, it was like it was like you give them the caveat to get out, but when you see people, and it's fucking harder. It's harder yes. to sit there and take it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the yeah. power of fucking shame is unbelievable and to be able to put yourself in that situation where you're being abused but the greater good from that is freedom ah, man that's next level shit bro that's why I don't work with police brutality right go on because that because you see it all well, kind of work with, with Martin on that well yeah but I, I think it's changed now because you see it on video yeah. right but you still, uh, some people still feel something for the police. They're like, man, police job is so yeah, hard, so man. Crazy. You know I what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh man, man, police got a real tough, man. They got to make tough decisions, man. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like the, the, the person gets shamed more than the police do. Like, well, he shouldn't have resisted. Oh, uh, you know, they shouldn't have ran. He had fentanyl in his system. Yeah, he had fentanyl. Yeah, he was on drugs. Yeah, like, why yeah, was he yeah, on drugs? Like, it, yeah, it seems like they no. shame the victims of police brutality more. But I, don't you feel like there's way more empathy for what's going on right now because there's video and now people are actually seeing people get... It depends what the video is. Yeah. Depends yeah, it depends what it is. George Floyd was definitely one. It depends. <laughs> yeah, you're right. One. It depends George Floyd was definitely one. But before, with no video, they would just spin it. They'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, he yeah, was probably yeah. resisting. Oh, he time. was doing some shit like that. And now it's like, you can't deny it. You see it. It's, more, it's, numb, it's more numb now. You, you got to have something like a George Floyd or the other guy. <laughs> Yo, you know what I'm that, that's another... Everything, everybody else is numb. Any, like, a cop shooting right now, I, numb. Isn't that... It's, it's almost like what happened with school shootings. Remember when we were younger how crazy school shootings were? Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, it was yeah. the craziest thing ever. And, and now... Here is five-minute conversation. Yo, that's... that's it. And, yo, and... Oh, another one? Okay. How about this, right? And this is maybe why motherfuckers don't ever change anything. Obama's basically saying, like, yo, there's aliens, yo. I know. I've been, been saying it. Oh, Me and Joe Rogan have been trying to tell you that they exist <laughs> yeah. forever. I've seen them. But isn't it crazy how used to this shit we get? Like yeah. uh, two years ago, if somebody came out, if Obama of all people came out, we're like, yo, there's some UFOs out there. We would have lost our goddamn minds. Andrew, we're so desensitized so, to everything. Schultz, please stay on this for a second. Okay, go. Because <laughs> I thought I was tripping last week. I sent it to my homeboy, Frosty. And Frosty goes. Shout out to Frosty. Fro I sent it to Frosty. Frosty I, sent, I sent Frosty that article. Barack Obama saying yeah, yeah, there yeah. is shit out there. We just don't know what it is. Yeah. And Frosty was like, that's why they call it unidentified flying objects. I'm like, no! That's what that means? <laughs> no! What do you mean? No! No, 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 bro. No, bro, no. Barack Obama, a former president who had all the classified information, said verbatim. Pull it up, Taylor. I need to read the exact quote. Because I when the fact that Frosty didn't have the reaction that I wanted him to have. Because they don't care no more. Bro. It's like it's like they're almost doing this on I'm purpose. I'm waiting for something to see. If I see something in my yard or something like that, I don't care. You've probably seen it, bro. This is CNN seven days it. ago. 
Barack Obama just said something very interesting about you as well. And this is on the late that maybe no. maybe maybe this is because it's on the late, late show as well. The truth uh, is that when I came to office, to I see. asked, right? I was like, all right, is there a lab somewhere where they're keeping the alien specimens, the spaceship? And you know what? They did a little bit of research and the answer was no. Okay. He uh, was joking. They said he was joking. What is he, true, and I'm actually true. being yep. serious here, is that there are there's footage and records of objects in the sky that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain how they move, their trajectory. They did not have an easily explainable pattern. And so, you know, I think that people still take seriously trying to investigate and figure out what that is. You think, My Barack? God. President no, Obama, sorry. you think? But it's not Let wild, like, picture, how used to the shit we get. Nobody cares. Yo, oh, I shit. told y'all when I went and I was... uh. Because they've been saying it, though. I think people just like, whatever. Man, listen. I want to see it. I've said this, this a minute. This is why the powers that be don't care about, like, protests or nothing, because they know we're going to get over it. They know you're going to get over it. They know the next yeah. thing that comes out around, we're going to get over it. His wife's going to yell at him. That's it. You know what's so wild, though? We all, we really do live in an era where nobody cares about the truth when the lie is more entertaining. Yeah. 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 So it's like, they're not going to focus on what Barack said here. You see Barack yeah. with the picture. But they will focus on somebody saying Barack is not really American. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they'll jump on the lie and run with the lie <laughs> over and over. But this, look at this, man. Yeah. Look at the fucking, that, what is that in the sky? That's no. not a bird. It's not a plane. A damn show ain't Superman. What it's about the drone. dude that had the rocket jack, the rocket pack in LA? That's fire. Remember he got, he, he got, they found him like twice. They, somebody saw him twice. You don't a remember guy that? had a rocket pack? Pull it up, Taylor. I know that the yeah, British Navy has some rocket. like rocket yeah, suit, cool. put, like put, an Iron put, Man suit. Put rocket man, put rocket man LAX. Hmm. This was that's another old. one. That's old. That was last year. Uh -huh. Yeah, we don't care. Look, but but the, this nobody LAX. Watch, watch. A video. Video from pilot. It's shows a pilot, but it's a new. A it was a new thing. Pack. Rocket Man strikes again. <laughs> All of these people yeah. are constantly seeing this dude flying around LAX at the too. airport, yeah. flying next to the planes and everything else, and nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. So what he's an alien. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, come on. Oh, uh, it's different in person. <laughs> the video. What the oh. fuck is... Oh, no, no. He's just looking up mukbangs. Oh. <laughs> Second time in two months, pilots have reported spotting a person flying with a jetpack near LAX. Yeah. Why is that not bigger news? He was flying at 6,000 feet. That's seven yeah. miles north of the LAX. Pack. That's Why is that not a thing? I mean, look, Mexicans going to get into this country some way. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, if you build a wall, they're going to build a jetpack, bro. They're going to hop over that shit. Yeah, that's, throw easy, back over. So that's how it works. Uh, hey. That's how it works. I don't know how many pounds so, You want a jetpack? Yeah. People. Man, I definitely on. do that. I would definitely long. do that. You guys a want a jetpack? I would yes. guarantee See, that's jetpack. just greed, bro. Y'all jump high enough. Let us white people get a little fucking height every once in a while. I don't want that shit. You know what I mean? For the Mexicans, they got the kids, two kids. They just bought <laughs> <laughs> like groceries. I don't want that. Just put I'll me on a plane. This. Put me on a plane. But it's true though. I wonder we how much. Care, bro. I wonder how much the powers that be are getting away with because we're all so easily distracted. Son, did you see the Epstein shit that just came out? What Epstein shit? Oh my god! <laughs> look at the, the 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 people that were supposed to look after him. What are they called? Like the COs or yeah, whatever? Yeah, like yeah, the, the jail yeah. cell guys? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They basically admitted to falsifying records. Why? What? Because they falsify them shits. Well, flying records as far as what though? As far as like uh, uh, looking after him, checking in on him, or whatever. Of course, they judge out their head. And then they let him off. They're like, "Oh, they're gonna help us with the case, so they don't have. They all just have to do community service." Judge approves deferred prosecution deal for two jail guards. I did not see that. Of course, you didn't see it. Nothing matters. Oh, Nothing matters. Like COVID, God. son. COVID is covering up something. Co C O V. Covering up, right? Talk, maybe. That's all COVID was. Maybe. How is this not a bigger story? What do yo, bro? Nobody cares about anything. We fake cared about the Epstein shit. We fake cared about everything. Like that's what we do. Uh, that's the Duval shit where he was like, "What y'all fake caring about today?" I never understood real. how valuable that was because I thought it was about bullshit. But the reality is, we yeah. fake care about everything. A judge approved. A judge approved. People don't even talk about Trump no more. Think about it. I haven't heard from Trump in a minute. A judge oh, approved the deferred prosecution deal for two federal jail guards who failed to monitor sex offender Jeffrey Epstein on the night that wealthy investigator hanged himself in his cell. Duh. Yep. <laughs> the agreement means that the two guards, Tobin Noble and Michael Thomas, will escape a conviction and potential jail sentence if they comply with the terms of the deal. That means shut the fuck up. Epstein, a former friend of President Donald Trump and Bill Clinton, was awaiting trial uh, on child sex trafficking charges at the time. Of the wow. Of course they got rid of him. Wow. Wow. Now like, they just admitted the like, yo, we rigged this wow. whole shit and we'll keep doing whatever the wow. fuck we want and there's nothing y'all can do about yes. it. And y'all know why we covering that. I know shit. why. Exactly. <laughs> and we'll give you UFO 
UFOs, you still won't care. So no, shut no, your mouth. No, no, I know why. I know why. why. I know why. People already believe that. What? They already believe. Oh, that's why it's not news. That he didn't kill himself. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They already okay. believed it. So all they do with that article is it's confirmation, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, it's confirmation it's not bias. To us no, like, yeah, no, no, it, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. It just, I mean, it just amazes me how no, like people really don't give a fuck about Anything? truth. They don't give a fuck yeah. about facts. That she can be right there in their face, yeah. and they will ignore it to gravitate to whatever narrative it is they want to believe. Like yeah. we gravitate towards our confirmation bias. Yeah, and that's just. It's, just, that's, it's actually just stupid. That's why the Kardashian shit is so brilliant. The Real Housewives shit is so brilliant is because like their little frivolous drama means more to the average person than the real drama. And they know it's fake. Yeah. They know it's fake and they're like, oh, we can They're pretend like this is a big... Like people getting upset at tweets and all this other shit. It's like the fact that you don't care that there's UFOs. It's the okay. fact that you care what I did, did or said 10 fucking years ago in a tweet... But you don't care about aliens? But tweets? you don't think that more people like Charlamagne? Like, I believe there's aliens. I think I'm one. You are one. I you know. are an alien, bro. No, 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 no. Listen to me. You say that a lot, but you're really an alien to a, 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 a being right. on another planet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying I think there's aliens already been here. Like Did you how see the engaged black... show? They don't even no, call us aliens. This is not, this is yeah, my what, left yeah. hand. I was saying, oh, shit. I thought Taylor got <laughs> engaged. <laughs> got a whole <laughs> husband out here. On another planet, they don't even call us aliens. What they got are they, they called? I don't know. They got their own else. language. That's yeah, what I'm saying. They, they got, got their own language. Yeah. And they probably know we exist. Shit. They probably call it twerkers. What are you about to say? I'm just saying, like, it's wild. Like, another, whoa. Think about men in black. There were aliens walking the earth. It's probably just like that. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I would love to see the Earth, the Earth from an alien know. POV. Yeah. What if the aliens are hiding in the water? Of course they are. are we they're everywhere. I mean, not the not the water we drink. I'm talking about the yeah. ocean, like squids and all that kind of shit. What if those are actually extraterrestrials, bro? The what? The, they, the, they, the they, Earth they, is 75 percent water, bro. You think we've been all the way down there? How we know 75 percent water? I don't believe that. Creatures. How how we know that? <laughs> like who? The people just be saying shit. Like your body's 99 percent water. I'm like, where at? <laughs> Where at? It looked like bones to me. It's a bro. planet. Like, it's, Can't it's you bones see? Bones of skin. The planet. I look at the shit. It looks it's, like mostly land. Bro. No, no way. A lot of water. You think, bro? You see yeah, that? pull up yeah. the planet. Go to the planet. They said Not the United States. States the planet. Definitely mostly. What do you think all that blue is? Also, we don't know how deep it's it is. Like it could be a now. sandbar. What? I don't think that's. I don't think the Earth's like that. So now. if the world, if the Earth got that much water, why are we so worried about running out of water? Just take the salt out of the water. <laughs> All of us not drinking. Like, Come on, bro. I, I, say done, bro. I say the same thing. I say the exact same thing. That's that's foul, bro. You got Come people on, dying in the blue. That doesn't look like our planet now. That's an angle, bro. That doesn't that's look like our planet yeah, now. Like, that's an angle. That's that's wow. got a. What is you? What are y'all talking about? That's that don't look like our planet. That's got filters, bro. Taylor, what do you mean it don't look like our planet now? Because that's like um our planet from like year. Like who said? When's the last time they took a picture of Earth? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, do it Taylor, every, Taylor, year, Taylor, every day. <laughs> Taylor, come on. Taylor, 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 I'm saying Taylor, that. We're not editing this either. Listen to me. We're not listen editing this. I don't care. Taylor, listen to me. I'm saying we just did a Google search, right? <laughs> Who said these are up to date pictures? It's called Earth right now. You can go to NASA.gov. They got satellites Earth. in the sky. Yes. You can see Earth go by the Google moment. Earth. Earth go to like Google this Earth. Right now. All the reason why I'm saying is Taylor, because quick, I feel like the quick, earth no, right no, now. I'm, so, I'm sorry that. to interrupt. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's so great to be here in person for this. <laughs> so, Taylor, how the fuck you think the world is going to change, I'm Taylor? I'm saying, Taylor, I don't think it's How has it changed? The earth is has polluted. California snapped no, off look, of Earth United is States polluted. No, no, no. Earth is polluted. I okay. feel like that's what I'm saying. I don't but think that's it above. As, I don't think it's as blue as it is now. That's what I'm saying. What's you think the blue? color of water has changed? I think it's polluted more. So, you got to travel more, Taylor. bluish. No, I do too. No, travel. you gotta travel more. Taylor. I know some places that got some blue water. I do too. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, nah. I feel like the majority. Nah. Didn't you just go away on your birthday? I did. I just feel like the majority. Stop taking dookie shots oh my God. and focus on that the water Zoom. next time you're away. That's Zoom thing she put in the back. So that's a good ass point. Stop going on vacation in Newark. <laughs> you go to Newark I'm every nice. fucking year with your friends on vacation. Yo, step that shit up. The you just harbor. go to the airport See, and chill. No, 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 wait. Let me, right. Listen, it's do you know why the water's blue? Do you know why the water's blue? Do you know why water's blue? There's more clouds. Do you know why water's blue? It looks blue. Don't they say because of the sky or something? Yes, yeah, a reflection of the sky, so it don't matter if it's polluted or not. As long as the sky is blue, it's going to look like the sky. 
Oh, I shit. like the fact that Taylor said, when oh, the last shit. time he took a picture of the earth? Yeah, that was crazy. Like, it's not the earth. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Like, like th this is great. Is We just started taking pictures of the earth like 40 years ago. Right? Like, <laughs> pictures of the earth is new. Like, Yo, you think in the last 40 years the earth just switched it up? You know, you know we start earth, taking needs, pictures? earth needs some new headshots. Yo, you're right. You're right. Earth needs some new headshots. <laughs> earth, you need, earth, you need a new headshot, Earth. You need some, shit you need some new promo pics, Earth. <laughs> you what the piece. fuck? <laughs> Click about earth now, Taylor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm waiting for it. There's more clouds. What are y'all talking about, man? <laughs> Yo, you're a wild just got girl. More clouds Yo, oh, you're look a, a wild shark. That's a big ass fucking shark right there in there. You see it? Where? What? You don't see that shark head right there in, in the water? All right. <laughs> I oh, hope they, they can, can see what we're all looking at. Can they see what we're looking at? No, nah, they can't. Oh, I you wish they right could. A well because y'all would turn off the podcast immediately. <laughs> <laughs> y'all would shut it off. Hey. And be like, you know what? There's got to be right. something else out there for me. No, they wouldn't. They say this is the brilliant idiots. Oh yeah, you know you're this, right. This, this, this is why they call the brilliant idiots. Listen to this shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Taylor said <laughs> the Earth need new headshots. <laughs> Wax looked at the globe and said, "There's a shark right there." <laughs> okay. You can see a shark from space. Jesus How Christ. big a fucking shark? You can't even see no people on there. You want to see a shark? What's that you see there? You talking about the shape right here? It's a shape. It's a shape. It's a continent. How's that a continent? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so not land? What's the fuck That's, is that's what land, a continent bro. is. That's land. A continent is land. Yeah. All right, let's go. Right, y'all know this ain't my shit. Yeah, and y'all think aliens not real. Have you ever met Wax? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, this is why aliens don't want nothing to do with that. At bro. all. This is why. They At listen to all. one podcast and like, fuck these guys. At all. In and out. Zoom, they turn zoom. Around. Why, would, why, why, would, why would they come here? <laughs> they do, and then they leave, bro. They probably shit is primitive as fuck. They got some cool shit every now and then, you know what I mean? Yep. Other than yeah. that, we out. we out. You don't think it's weird that they haven't attacked, though, yet? Say Why what? would they attack? The aliens. Why what is they? there to attack? We killing ourselves already. Exactly. Yeah. Like, why do they want to get in the middle of it? They're like, all right, we're going to let them fight it out and then we'll just come in and, you know, take what's left. And why I, you, can, I just keep thinking about what you say. Can I ask you a question? What? Why do you profile extraterrestrials just now, yo? Oh, wow. What's you, just, you just stereotype all extraterrestrials. Why they got to be angry? Why they yeah, got to be violent? Why they got to be violent? Why do they got to be violent? You just assume think, they would attack. I would just think the that media, they have. The media, yo. You watch too much movie. Yeah, the yeah. media got you looking nice. at no, extraterrestrials. Honestly, it was, mean, mean, honestly, it was crazy with Taylor said because you literally just said, like, they're not giving us their best. You know, they're <laughs> criminals. Wow. They're yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, Build the wall yeah. you, in space. Build the dome. Build, Build the, the dome. dome. Now, you it, really it, just turned into Trump, we, yo. We probably I too aggressive for them. Taylor Trump out here, bro. You did, yo. Thinking, you did, yo. You're right, because I shouldn't compare them to the people. Or That's right. Them. You don't because know what I'm they. thinking they have um, better, like, technology and everything right. else than us. Take over us. That's what I'm thinking. Why? Oh, Why? Right. So just because one culture is more technologically advanced, they could take over wow. another culture? Is that what you're saying? All that's, all never, nice. that's never gone wow. poorly in the past, wow. Taylor. I can't think wow. of a time in history where wow. one culture was more technologically advanced than take advantage of another one. You want cosmo colonization. Holy shit. You want shit. them to come from the cosmos and colonize no Earth? Way. Wow. Listen, you know, you know we're that's to them up. and they really come here? They, they try to kill them. That's fucked up. What, what, well, do you want, what do you want them to do? Put, put us on ships and go do some work in their <laughs> planet? That's right. Do you, you think that's what they, you want us to like, do? Like, sure they're just observing, though? That's just weird. You know how I know aliens are way more gangster. We're and, 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 to them. You know how yes. to zoom. We're Instagram zoom. to them. They're just scrolling We're through this Instagram. whole right. shit, bro. <laughs> you know how I know aliens are more gangster than earthlings? How, how? Because earthlings don't even want us to know <laughs> so they you exist. You gained a little weight, bro. I did a little bit. I did a little bit. I did a little bit. I did, I did a little bit. I'm, I'm just getting it off me, though. But what... Are you? Yeah. <laughs> it might be the way I'm sitting. Making fun of Wax's whole Hold time. Hold on now. It might be the way I'm sitting. I'm okay. early. I'm sitting down. I'm early. You're slipping down. Yeah, I'm coming where I'm sitting. Nah. I mean, it's better. It's better now. But when you're sitting... I'm sitting down and I'm early. Yeah. No, you're not. <laughs> you bugging. <laughs> He swear he know you not, bro. I'm early. No, you look three months. Like, you're bullshit. <laughs> you look three months, bro, and you got some titties. These definitely titties, for sure. He's rocked up nah, titties. Nah, that's better, bro. Keep Listen, that sucked I in. I want somebody Thank to turn that into a meme. He's definitely titties. The <laughs> wax doing this shit. He's definitely titties. For sure. But he's, a, he's an official, <laughs> though. It's not the best at hot potato, bro. Because I had him on the hot seat for a second. He said, what? You're fatter than me. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. 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 Brilli
<laughs> no, I, I am. I, I, it's a little bit. I, it's a reason for that, though. But I'll talk about it later. What, what happened? No, I'll talk about it later. What? 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 No, I'll talk about it later. I'll talk about it later. I'll talk about it later. Oh, don't but, tell us some medical shit. You're going to make the fucking thing. You got like your thyroid <laughs> fucked up. <or> something. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> bro. Don't do that. You got time for that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Bro. No. You got fucked up thyroid. Stop it. Come on, son. Stop it. No, it's the, me- it's the medication. <laughs> it's the medication. <laughs> Nobody can't say nothing. It's the medication. Uh, the Mr. Schultz can definitely still try. He can still try. I'm gonna find a way to shoot. He's gonna find a way. way to shoot. <laughs> but no, Earthlings, uh, Earthlings know uh, aliens are so gangster yeah. that they tell us they don't exist. Really? They don't even want us to think about them. Are they deep frying the medication? <laughs> they definitely deep frying the medication. <laughs> You know what's so crazy? I lost. Listen, I lost mad weight in COVID. Yeah, and then it's like I gained it back after the pandemic was over. See, you got comfy. Yeah, that's all it is. You got comfy. You celebrated. I'm not gonna say it was over. I'm not gonna say it was over. But yeah, it was like a it was like a two month period. Son, I was fat as shit right after that Netflix (laughs) thing. Son, I looked horrible. My girl was looking at me crazy. No man, I was fat as shit, and I went down to to Miami. I had to get it back. Could you look down and see your dick? I could see my dick, but it was just like, I was like pale and fat. And that's just the Yikes. worst, dude. Yeah. I this is the way I'm sitting. Turn I got a little bit of tan, but it was awful. I mean, it's just, just the way I'm sitting, bro. You think that's what it is? Yeah, it's the shirt. Yeah. Blame it on the studio. <laughs> it's the studio. Yeah, I don't yeah, look yeah, like this yeah, right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> you putting the WTF in WTF in the studio. You look at this motherfucker like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You've been making some horrible decisions when it comes to your food choices. All right. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, is during the pandemic. <laughs> oh my God, man. Let's pay some bills, Taylor. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because uh, some of y'all are going to go bald and you don't have to. That's right. Technology has arrived. Fuck UFOs. They got anti-balding technology and you got to take advantage of it. I've taken advantage of it. I've been on the shit for damn near, uh, damn near a decade. And look at this beautiful mane that I still got. Okay. It was about to go. You got to get in there first before it leaves you. And the company that you're going to do it with is Keeps. I'm telling you, it's the best in the business. That simple. More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. And there are only two FDA approved medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps provides you with both. Okay. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't even have to leave your home. But now that you have a full head of hair, you absolutely will want to, okay? And loosen that grip on your wallet because Keeps is low cost. Treatments start at just $10 per month and Keeps offers generic versions as well. On top of discreet packaging and proven results, Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Remember, prevention is key. If you feel like it's going a little bit, get on top of it now. In my case, some of it grew uh, grew back, but at the very least, you can stop it in its tracks. Telling you it takes four to six months to see these results, so act fast, act fast, act fast. How are you going to do it? This is what you're going to do. Okay. If you're ready to take action, prevent hair loss, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots to get your first month free. All right. uh, We got any church announcements? Yo, um, uh, the infamous tour, man. Thank you all so much for for bo- gobbling up those tickets, man. We saw I'm like definitely coming to a show. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna shake it up, man. This is gonna be pretty exciting, dude. So these venues are wild. So go uh, theandrewschultz.com. You can get ticket links. Do not get fucked by the resellers. Go through the links on my website. So many people hit me up. They're like. Yo, the tickets are hundreds of dollars and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, nah, the tickets are between $55 and $75. You go to the links on my site, you get them right there. Get them before they're gone. A bunch of the shows already sold out. Uh, we might try to add some shows right there, but theandrewshows.com. Go check those out. We're going to crack it open in a, in a big way. I'm very, very excited about it, man. And uh, yeah, I can't say too much, but... But it's going to be wild for the people that are there. When is the special dropping? This fall? Uh... Well, I'm going to film. Oh, that's another important announcement. Everybody that had a ticket to the L.A. shows where I was going to film the special before the pandemic, your tickets are still good for that, for those shows. But we're not going to film the special in L.A., obviously, because of all the COVID bullshit. So we're going to move it to Austin. And uh, the Austin dates, we are going to film a special there, probably on the Sunday, the first Sundays shows. Um, Why not New York? Because it feels like you're like one of the yeah. last... New York comics. Yeah, I want to do it in New York, but I have another plan for something for New York. Okay. So uh, 
Yeah, I have another plan for something for New York. Okay, okay. So I think the Apollo is good for a brother like you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I, I would like to. Man. Yeah, I would like to do that because I feel like it's very representative of me. Yeah. Yeah. The Apollo. No, I, I, I mean, the Apollo's fire, man. Apollo's so fucking sick. But I have a plan for something for New York in the okay. future. And uh, so, yeah, that's all I'll say about that. But yeah, so the Austin shows, that's where we're going to film the special. Uh, if you have tickets to the LA shows, we're still going to do those shows out there. We're just not taping the special out there. Um, but we are still going to honor those shows, go do those shows in LA. Those are going to be fucking crazy at the Orpheum out there. We'll be the first shows back for the Orpheum. So that's very exciting. Um, and I know everybody in LA is ready to get out and rock now that Corona is done. So it's going to be fun. What about you, Wax? You got church announcements? Yeah, everybody go to whoswax.net. Um, you get the lemonades there. I'm stealing all the stores and dispensaries in LA. Um, my flowers out there. I got the Delta 8s. And all these companies, these cannabis companies is really, really dope. You know what I'm saying? I got the paintball fighting. I want all the podcasts. You know, get 10 people and have them represent your, your podcast, Podcast Wars. You know what I'm saying? So... And really dope. When are we gonna do that? We gotta do a nice little paintball fight. Yeah. yeah. So who who would you want to fight against? Like, I mean, how many we got? We got enough to do it. Hell yeah, we got yeah, enough we to got do enough it. Enough to do it. Even yeah. the fans, we want the fans to also come out and participate with us too. You know yeah. What I'm so <coughs> where we, is it? Go on it's, it's actually in, in Charleston, Charleston area. Oh, we gotta go all the way to Charleston. Charleston. We gotta go to Charleston. Okay. Well, Charleston's a beautiful place to go yeah, though. Very beautiful place to go. I remember so, we went to your wedding. Really, That's really right. Enjoy yourself there. So y'all come out and this is huge though. This is the huge Monk's Corner area. Yeah, we we in the woods. So believe me, you want to enjoy yourself. You shoot as much as you want to no problems out on the land so you'll be alright love it and uh, mine are always the same go to blackeffect.com uh, make sure you you know we just launched what did we launch this week we launched um, the Reasonably Shady podcast this week uh, with um, Giselle Bryant and Robin Dixon from the Real Housewives of Potomac okay so all you Real Housewives fan you know it's a couple of Real Housewives that uh have podcasts on the Black Effect. Ebony K. Williams will hold the court, of course. And now uh, Giselle and Robin are reasonably shady. So make sure you subscribe to them and make sure you uh, check out We've Got Answers on on Audible. You know, for anybody who hasn't checked out the audio book, I dropped like a month and I don't even know how long it's been now, but like a month and some change ago. Make sure you check that out on Audible. It's free with an Audible membership. It's called We've Got Answers. And of course, thank you to everyone who's been purchasing Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency, How to Win yeah. in the Country We Built. It is out. I bought it. It's a, no, you didn't. It's available. You just lie like that for no reason. That's fucked up. It's available everywhere you buy books. I got a signed now. copy of it, bro. You, you're lying. You got I it. did get it. I got a sign. I didn't say who got signed by, but I got a signed copy. <laughs> like, she I signed got it. a signed copy. You never asked me who signed the book, but I got a book and it's signed. We got the ebook. We got the audio book. Actually, and you know, it's that's the, crazy, man. I think this is the second week it's been out. Second, third, no, third. third week, it's the yeah. third week. And uh, it's, it's number 46 on Amazon. Dope. So, I mean, it's, okay. Hey, Dope. man, Tamika doing her thing. Number one in like three different categories. She, she you know, God bless. God the part is good. I heard is really good. Shut up! The part you do the void. That was fire. That was fire. Also mentioned. We got Bully and the Beast. And who was on it this week? Uh, oh, we got uh, Chuck Head. Chuck Head. AJ. Yeah. AJ. AJ yes. Holiday. Yeah. This is gonna be a really funny one. You know, AJ is like part of the family. So. She is family. Yes. Ain't no part of. That's family. That's it's the same thing. No, it's not. Wait, AJ, AJ who? AJ who? The girl that was here for we talked. Part of the family yeah. is family. Uh, exact same thing. We is talk. Part of the family yeah, is family. Oh there. yeah. Is part of the family and is family the same thing? I don't think part so. Yeah, yeah, you're it's part the same of my thing. family. My it's brother. You be anything. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, close yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, it's close yeah, yeah, enough. That's family. I know an AJ. Family. That's what I'm saying. So it was really good. Twenty years. Hopefully we got to cut nothing. But part of the family and family. Yeah. How long I know AJ? 2000, 2001. Yeah, 20 years, 20 years. Yeah, yeah we was in class family. together. We had school together. We was in college yeah, together. Yeah, you're going to hear so a lot more stories about It was a about lot of stuff. Did you that, hook up with her? Was this the one nah, you hooked up like with? I said, no, no, man. What are you talking about? Why do people what? think what? that? Why are you angry at me? I'm just that's saying. Why is that a question? Why are you so tight like you ain't get pussy before, bro? Like, I, 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 why are you angry at me? Because you got pussy, Why do people think men and women just can't be platonic friends forever? We can't, That's not true. You don't think that you look at a girl and decide, like, both parties a girl no, and a guy I don't think it has nothing to do with looks you, you decide if you want to have if sex you're single no, yeah. that's if a you're lie. single that's if a you're lie. single no, no, no. and you're both attracted to each other you can't be just friends that's stupid now you hear what show said come on come on come on stupid no, listen, listen. you hear what show yeah. said compared yeah. to what Wax said what he said Wax said you decide show said both parties decide you, it has to be a mutual attraction yeah, I no no I, I decide if I, I, I'll, I'll be like 
I smash it up like nah, I never smash that. I've like, I, I never thought that. It's, to me, it's just all energy. Like you know the difference between somebody you meet and y'all are friends and y'all cool and y'all become family. I would, and somebody I you meet the and it's a little too. bit more. No, I end up smashing girls that I thought was okay and we just cool. So that's why I can't say that. I don't trust myself. Oh, that's why I don't do it. We're not I, editors. I ain't got no friends. But that's the point. You like <laughs> you can't trust yourself. No, I mean I'm getting a whole lot better. Whoa, but I'm, I'm being good. Whoa, what are you trying to do? Yo, whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa. No, 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 say, wrong, I can't bro. buy no car like that, bro. You trying whoa, to sell me the car? Whoa, 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 is it a good car? Or is it not? It's a great car. Is it good like land? This. Can nah. I plant something on this land or not? Would you put crack by crackhead? Somebody? No, I'm just saying. Would you put me? Keep digging your grave. Keep digging your grave. I'm just saying, if I'm a recovering crackhead, would you put crack right there? <laughs> what? If I'm a recovering crackhead, would you put crack right in front of me? Yes. <laughs> Reco recovering? Yes. No. Because that means you're prone to relapse. Yeah. All right, if you're complete, if you if beat you recover, your addiction. You beat it. It's yes. I am beat. And you've been, you, you, you've been clean for years. <laughs> we know. I've been, this is about to be here too, Jay, um, June 1st. You need another coin. I don't think we should give him a coin yet. I don't think no, so. I need, I I need so that. Either. This is June 1st. I need my coin, How many man. coins I You get? sound wild. How many coins this do I get, definitely bro? Be we all talk about fidelity, bro. I don't want, baby, you know I ain't do shit. This she got everything anyway. She got a fucking um. Yeah, but you making it sound very hard, bro. Yeah, but you can't like twist. You can't like take off your dick, bro. She can't hold on to that. <laughs> you can't. You can't unhook your dick and give it to her it's before you go to work. I, I promise you, she got some type of something on me. If somebody, if a girl call me right now, she knows. If I'm setting something up, she knows. She knows everything that's you going think? on. I know. I get the phone call. So are you faithful because it's the right thing to do or because you're under surveillance? Exactly. No, I, I'm faithful. <laughs> That's a good question. That's I'm a good question. I'm faithful oh, because I want to be faithful. If okay. we, any person want to do something, they'll find a way to do it. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? If you want to go ahead and, and, and beat somebody up, you'll put a size you need to leave 10 with that shoe trouble. on. I mean, you need to leave, leave with that wax because yes. you sounded like, well, I'm only doing it because you know I'm going to do it. Oh, <laughs> you no, no, like, would you leave crack around a crackhead? Yeah. No. Like, what? Yeah, <laughs> <That's crazy>. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you're a dickhead, you a crackhead? Bro. No, Seems I, like you're I, dick I was, pussy. but I tried you look to stay at your phone when she's asleep? Huh? When you lay in bed together, you look at your phone when she's asleep? Do you turn down the light? You turn down the light turn on the phone the so it don't wake her up? I would give it to her. I don't, you turn down I don't, the light on the phone so it don't wake her up and then kind of turn it a little bit towards man, you listen, so you can look I'm at the pictures? I'm a type of person. Y'all know me. If this I guy's would, wild, I would do one yo. thing, one time, you are wild, I'm done. Yeah. So, but she's sleeping. Do you ever look out the corner of your eye to see if her head is facing you or if it's facing the other way and if it's facing the other way you just look? If I get a text message or something go through my phone and go straight to her phone so it don't even matter. I'm talking about the DMs. You ever look at the DMs and even Instagram don't want you to see? No, the DMs and she got the DMs too. But what about the DMs in the DMs? These girls are retarded. You think girls going to stop because of, because I don't get Scarlet? no DMs. I ain't got DMs in years. Look how long you been with your wife. <laughs> that's right. I don't get the DMs. They it, girls aren't nothing wrong with girls. Why? What are you doing? That's making girls want to DM you, Wax. Wait, wait. Ask her. She you don't get girl. no DMs, bro. None. Let well, me see your phone. Like, you, no, me and you in the same stomach. position. <laughs> <laughs> Schultz, me and you in the same position. You don't get DMs, Schultz? I don't yeah. get no DMs, bro. Schultz, you get DMs? Ain't course, no girls hitting up for Shaw. Of course I get DMs, bro. Come on, man. Girls hey. got their trash-ass pickup lines, yo. What's the lines? What's, What's the, the lines? Line? <laughs> <Excuse me. laughs> <Excuse me. laughs> Some chick hit me the other day with uh, uh, a ticket. We a should ticket normalize. Uh, how do we normalize women shooting their shot? Oh. That was it? Yo, you see Charlotte roll his <laughs> eyes I thought it was up. Better than that, no, That's how you thought you was going to get some dick? That's how you thought well, I was going to throw away my if family? She, if she looked my good. Fam <laughs> you thought I was going to throw away my family? I got a family. That shit, bro. I got, I got a, a family. Dog. I got a golden doodle. I was going to throw that shit away. <laughs> <laughs> Little wise women shooting their shot. I got a family, bro. The audacity of this girl, yo. <laughs> She's at least she put some naked pictures or something in that motherfucker. Something, bro. Not like yeah. I would look, but something. I don't look either. See, that's what I'm saying. She's. She I don't look either that. You're trifling ass I can't Fox. believe You'll ever see me Some naked pictures Fuck and the phone with Also you. I only get DMs From people I follow anyway You know oh, what I mean You so, never go to the dark no, DMs No I never go I never go my, it yeah, says, I, I can show you right anyway. now yeah, let me see. I bet it says 99 plus right now But let me go into The good shit Let me look Yeah I wanna look Let me give a look, <laughs> look. Shit, <laughs> same way. I can't look at it no more I let You her can't handle you let her handle it That's the smart thing to do Go ahead baby I don't do that with my girl Let me show you Oh, you got trust issues, bro. You're not even signed into Instagram. <laughs> Yo, you got trust issues, bro. This guy really, so this do. guy really trying to stay faithful, no, bro. I do, he I don't do. even have Instagram on his phone, no, bro. He's going to the website. I do, I do, I do. I got I do, I do, I do. I really do got trust issues. Look, that's crazy. Look, 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 no, because he's always grabbing my fucking phone. Ninety-nine plus around. requests. Everybody DMing me is people I know. Angela Rye, 
Tony Anderson. That's mentioned like all the smoke mentioned their podcast. Mm-hmm. My, my my little niece LaPorsche, Bonang, Teslin sending me something, Miko, intern John. These are all I I don't follow no everybody that DMs me is people I know, yo. I don't have no action. And I don't want it. You want me to look to yeah. see if there's some action? No, no, no. I'm not. I can look to see if there's some action nah, in there. I don't even go there. That's why it says 99 plus. I don't even go over there. There's never? Mo- a lot of no, times Some shit gets lost no, over there. No, Somebody no. says some reporting business. But there's someone you're not following and then you got to, and then they're trying I to I don't they, 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 they should know how to get the numbers. That's something. right. Stay you should know how to get in touch with me. That's right. That's, see what I'm saying? Why you stand out the way? You recovering? Who? You. What do you mean? Why you stand out the way? Why you not getting Because I'm a respectful husband uh-huh. well, I'm who's not even boyfriend. entertaining it well fiance these, these women shouldn't even know how to contact me so what's wrong they don't know how to get in the dms the fact that you check in your dms is crazy yo that's crazy, crazy bro <laughs> that means you follow <laughs> that means you <laughs> follow <laughs> people you that means you follow yeah. people yeah. let me Come see on. your dms sorry we're actually my dms share your dms challenge let me yeah. see yeah. share your dms challenge bro share your dms challenge you know what i'm gonna do better i'm gonna show you on my like page and i'm gonna show you what i actually like i don't never like i don't care about the likes i don't care about the likes that's share your dm challenge let's see your dms bro hold on share your dms challenge let me see what my baby doing cuz she she can Control this whole shit. Whoa! He's wow! Lying. He's lying. She do. He's a liar. What about your burner Instagram? Remember that Instagram you told me you had? <laughs> that's one. <laughs> the one that's uh, X A W. Yeah. What does that stand for? Wax backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's nothing. You got there. an Instagram that's yeah. wha- the X A X A W. Yeah, there's nothing there. Let me see then. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Share your DM challenge, man. Where Hold I go? On, let's see. Where I go? How I do it? Look at it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> five, six. Okay, no, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's probably Psalm's uh, birthday. Wow. What is it, man? Put the, put Am the I right? Pass code in that. By the way, way? Right? by the way, you a real cheater. Because soon as you got out of Instagram, your phone locked. Yeah, within seconds. you got a quick lock on your phone, bro. What happened? Put it in. Put what in? They cold. What's is the code? Oh. Wow. This guy is so crazy. Oh, he got his phone locked on purpose. This guy is he so locked his phone on purpose. <laughs> this, this, guy, is this, is real, this is what you do when your guy asking for your phone. Yo, you look guilty as hell. Yo, you look guilty. You must want to fight today. You must yeah, want yeah, you. Yeah. When this come out tomorrow, you must want to fight, yo. Yeah. Which one do you understand? She his really got all disabled, this type of stuff. Bro. Oh, wow. You, you got your phone disabled, disabled bro. Yes. You have a woman with child that might need you, and your phone is disabled. Wow. That's foul, bro. That right there is super foul. She's not with TikTok. child. She with the child. Same yeah, difference. With the child. With child. Carla, I got family, your back. Part this of is the family, fucked up. Same with shit. child mean pregnant. That is true. But look, fuck with, that. Don't with deflect. A child. Don't let him deflect. It's only for one minute. Carla, you should be a wax. You should and be she know what I'm doing right Carla, now. Carla, I got your back, Carla. Okay. I'm the friend no that I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I want to be the friend that women know their dude is around. Charla doing the right thing. Ah, <laughs> that's me. It is. It's really out of control <laughs> because it's like so many times I'm thinking I'm free. I'm going to chill with somebody. It's back way back in the day. Yeah, and, and he's and just find a way to bring somebody around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, this is the wildest huh? guy. You what find mean, a way huh? to bring another girl that I deal with around. Yeah, you would. How? You would. Bro. I don't know. When I do this, you are a bad. Yo, guy. Like, you're a bad guy. guy. Tell me you're a story a without guy. saying no names. You know what? I'm not doing this no more. Just make up the names. It's <laughs> not, my fun. I'm not doing this no more. <laughs> Just make I up the names. I got in trouble last time for me us talking about our past. You're right, baby. What about? Oh, you we brought the girl around the, and then chased her with AJ and uh, See? Who? See? Tamale. What's her name? Baby. Tammy. Tammy. Yeah. No, no, no. That was Tammy. 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 Tammy rushed his ass. And Tammy rushed you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I, I but I'll up, tell man. you another story. Um, tell a story about how when you tried to get me to run interference for you when I was a change man. Oh, but yeah. thank God yo, for thank God for um. I'll Chris. Be on, yo, so, can, what was it? Hold um, on. Can we have a talk about this? This is this topic. Can we have a talk about this? What is the etiquette? If one of your boys is cheating, what's the etiquette for him bringing? His side piece around you Mm-mm. and the homie. Shame. No. Shame. Son, that's a little weird. Yo, 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 you know what? I, w- I would kill you the whole time. We did that before. Why, hey, why, why you gonna make I, me I, a liar saying, now? But no, we did, no, we did that to somebody. I know, but you're not supposed to do that to me, and I wasn't mad. Because now you bro. gotta be a no, liar, no, bro. No. Now you gotta be a liar. But he'd do that, and I was I was chilling out here. He just do it for no reason. Like I was married. Explain the scenario so we're all on the same page. I don't practice bad habits. But explain the scenario so we're on the same page, right? We're all, let's say all of us three faithful males are hanging right yes and then one of our other homies pulls up with a side chick okay shame isn't that fucked up you don't even we've tell done us. that that's wrong bro 
Why? That's wrong, bro. No, because he was doing too much. Who is he? Yeah, come I'm on. Not you saying. know, we ain't nobody know a motherfucker. I know what you're talking about. But no. holding hands and shit. I'm like, the boy, fuck you doing, boy. Hey, that's yo. dangerous. Hey, yo. I even see the smooch. Go. Once so, you smooch, oh, it's whoa, whoa. whoa. Son, son, I said this. Uh, and you know what pissed, I mean, this shit pissed me off. They were, they were sitting and their hands started and then no webbing way. on webbing hands. That's kind of weird. You got to send a text. You know what you do? You go into the group chat right then oh, in no. the moment. You know what we did? I'm going to tell you, you what we did. We played a song. Black men don't cheat. We hey, played hey, that hey, shit. We played hey, that hey, shit hey, on the fucking hey, We played that shit nonstop. Yo, Andrew, what, what, what you think, what you think is more intimate? this dumb bitch ain't even realize it's a power. We don't call <laughs> women bitches in 2020. Yeah, what are you talking whatever, about? Bro, whatever. Fuck. Listen, what you think is more intimate? Kissing or smashing? If your boy black, not just smashing, but if you catch him kissing, which one is more don't, intimate? Don't bring this up. This Yo, is so stupid. This is so stupid. No, it's real. I think that's kissing. <laughs> if, I, if I know my boy kissing, it's both wrong. It's both wrong. All right, real fast. If my boy say, nah, we just smash. But, uh, That's cool. But if I, no. if I catch my okay. boy kissing her, no. I say he like her. I'll leave her alone. The sex? Maybe, maybe you do. If maybe I you see don't. a dude kissing a girl, he yeah. likes her. Mm. If I know a dude, he's like, I just smashed her. I'd be like, I. But here, I need to know too. as far as guy code goes. Like, do we? Obviously, we're not going to blow up that guy's spot. Of course not. But at the same time, it's, it's almost not. Nah, we're not going to blow up his spot. No, we're to not anybody else because that's the homie. But at the same time, it's like, yo, you making all of us liars. The word up to our girls too. That's right. Like our girls, like what'd you do this weekend? And we not going. We can't say. We not say you. So you gonna make me lie to my girl? You gonna make me basically Is cheat without getting telling? no pussy? Is lying not just lie, not telling? Exactly. Is lying not telling? Say what? But what if? What if they ask? Who was all there? Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 you, oh, oh, I didn't know the name. I didn't know the person's name. So I, I don't know. It. it was a bunch of us. I'm not playing Ooh. that game. <laughs> I don't want no parts of it. I really don't want I'm no like parts this, of it. Skip, <laughs> skip over the first. <laughs> Listen, the, look, it's a full moon tonight. I'm not no wingman. <laughs> I'm really not I'm a not man. No, no, I'm what not no not? wingman. Wax it. Tell him the story. What? I hit I hit you and uh, what's his name came up there and helped me down. Martin. Martin. Thank God for Martin because I went up there. I had a, I forgot where we was at. I LA? Say, I said, Charlemagne, listen, I got this girl coming. As soon as I finish, I need you to sit there and I'm going to call you. Say we got somewhere to go. Something. Get me out of here. Run some interference. This is great. We always did this for years. Man, I called Charlotte. I'm like, yo, what's good? He, he called me. I'm like, yo, what's good? Okay. He's like, yo, we got somewhere to go. And I was like, all right, word. I'm like, he's like, yo, 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 yo. I'm like, what's up? He was like, nah, never mind, stay. You ain't got, we ain't got nowhere to go. I'm like, what the you fuck is going on? You right in one. front of the girl, because you know I put it on speakerphone so the girl can hear <laughs> that we got to go. And now he's talking about we ain't got to go nowhere. Look at his face. Uh, that was the whole <laughs> fucking <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up his neck. Ain't hung up on him? <laughs> it's time to go. I'm like, I don't want to talk to him no more. I don't know what the fuck he about to say now. <laughs> now he gotta he gotta go now. Like, what the fuck? Why would you put me on speaker? <laughs> what you mean? That's Just so you can hear you say we gotta go. I know, but I couldn't resist now that. You one. Resist I can't resist that. I couldn't resist that. Why are you one, making man. him do the hard work? Word? No, we have this, this understanding that what we do. You call me and get me out of there. Why don't you lie like we all lie? Why, <laughs> why, <laughs> listen, why, why, why he gotta be the liar? Listen, yeah. you, you're not, you're, you're you're you can't lie to the girl, you crazy? I'm not doing that but to But why did he say I gotta go somewhere? Like what? Fake like your stomach. You never fake no. traveled. You never fake traveled. Yeah, I always. Like, I, I, I packed the whole goddamn bag. Shit, bro. 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 Shit, and we and now we always got an early morning flight, four in the morning, I, I, six no, in the morning. I'm not gonna yeah. like, stay with me, not sleep with me. I call You're a liar. Martin. I hit oh Martin my God. right away. Stop lying. I hit Martin like Martin, please like look me out. Martin came Why in there like, like come on, Wax, we gotta go. Why would he lie like this? What you mean? Why would you like you? I, I was sleeping. You never let a girl stay with you? What do you mean? They sleep, they sleep. I don't like to do that. I like sleeping in the bed. Wait, shit. they never stayed and slept. He is a liar. Yeah. I know you are. Yo. Yes, like, I know he
Come on. And not being serious. <laughs> guys, <laughs> <laughs> so, you hear told it? me no, nah, you told me once you have a hard time sleeping without a girl in bed. <laughs> you I know what that. you're talking about. You did say that. I know you, you did talk, say that. that's a lot. What am I talking you about? Have said that. What happened to me in LA? Um, you see, I was talking about sleep with somebody. That's one of the reasons why I don't. Because one time I thought about it, I thought about it in the middle of the night, I got woke up with swings getting beat up because somebody took Ambien. Like what? <laughs> Mind you, this was only Ambien makes you fall asleep, not wake up and get violent. This is ago. only five years ago, six. six years ago. So you just picked up the habit of not sleeping with women six years ago in the bed. No, no, it was. Stop it. It. Listen, you got to stand the time zones and stuff. It might have been. It's probably three o'clock in the morning over here, but it's lover. twelve over there. Let me tell you something. Wax is a lover. No Wax way. Wax lays possible. up with these women. He prays with these women. Maybe pray he, after. He he, t he takes these women. His mom. I was like, Wax, you're a sweet guy, low key. Like you're not We're as sweet, big man. as like. <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, yo, sweet. That, you're young. You. You're you. young. We use sweet a little bit oh, differently. Sorry. I mean, no, we don't. Yo, you better. Taylor, Taylor you used it right. Sweet. Taylor used it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you call me sweet. <laughs> how you that homophobic? You hate sugar. How you hate candy? By sweet, you better mean aspartame. <laughs> you better mean some other shit. You better mean some other shit. I know you're not talking. I know you're talking about sugar. Sugar. How much sugar? I imagine you like, man, Andrew. That was sweet. The fuck you mean that was sweet? That was sweet. Come on, man. You ain't talking like a fucking boy. You talking to a dude like that? Yo, yes. Nah, you can't describe your homeboy like that. Yo. Yo, no, I'm not describing my homeboy. He's 6'2", like funny, he's really sweet. He's like, sweet. He's sweet. Now, sweetheart like, is a little wild. Nah, he, I sweet think sweet is, is worse. Wild, like, yo, you think easy. so? Yo, you're not going to talk to your boy like, yo, bro, you're that sweet, sweet bro. Like, yo, you're a sweet guy. Well, like, I, I think so Eden is sweet. His name <laughs> is Eden. His name is Eden. I you know it's a weird name. I know nobody's ever the name that in history, and I know Whoa. it's hard to memorize, but his name is Eden, bro. You see the guy every week. Like I thought he is sweet. He is Andrew. sweet. Yo, you don't want to be known as oh sweet, bro. You don't want Charlamagne man to be sweet. What is wrong with sweet? Nah, Hold sweet on. is weird. Like... And Charlamagne said, Eden, but no, 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 no. no. What guy. made it weird is you didn't like Taylor saying it to you. So Taylor's a woman. So if Taylor say wax is yeah. sweet, why are you upset? But I want to know what sweet mean to her then. Right. Sweet. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's not cool to me. <laughs> what, do you, what does sweet mean to you? Besides, I know sweet what you're talking about. Sweet I'm sweet. I mean, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> can I me? Andrew, you want to be sweet? <laughs> All right, I need you to edit him doing his city exactly. like this. Exactly. But sweet. see if we can put the voice over it. Yeah, I'm, sweet. I'm sweet. I'm sweet. <laughs> yes. See if we can do that. The fuck? <laughs> you don't want to be known as sweet. Just yeah. Sweet is kind of wild. Coming from a woman, why would it matter? That's a compliment. Nah, but what girl ever fucked a guy because he's sweet? I have. What? Stop it. Come on. A guy was so that sweet. Was you're like, I need what to see Too sweet is different. But um, like, if he's sweet, like he's a sweetheart. I thought the whole point of women sleeping with a man is because the man was being sweet to them. Yes. They're nah. charming. Nah, bro. You're lying. I've been out the Come game on. a long time. Then. Yes, you have. Bro. Yes. Long, long time. So but if you ain't got a black and mouth, she ain't smashing you. What? what? That's oh, no. true. I've I've experienced that. <laughs> I've, experienced, I've experienced that a lot in my day. Yeah, I black and mild always carry those. one black and mild. Back to Wax sleeping with these women. Oh, no, Wax does the most, and he be lying like he don't. Yo, no, I know. Listen. Lie, bro. You Wax, we friends, have a bro. lot of was, the footage of you saying I've seen it. it. Wax sings the girls. Yeah. This guy see anything. When? Okay, go ahead. When? You don't sing the girls? You don't play the piano the girls? What girl was this? Wax will take you. play the piano. What? You don't play the piano, dog? Wax will sit down to start humming. <laughs> I've seen him do it a million times. Yeah. There's Be no way. Because it's yes, such a do. contrast to the way he looks. Exactly. So if he walk in like a, a, a hotel lobby that got the piano, he'll yeah. sit down. I can play. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Security mm -hmm. run up. Stop trying to steal the piano. So. <laughs> no, no, so no, no, Put no, no, down the no, no. keys. No. You know what security says? Oh, he's fine. He's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing the piano. He's sweet. He's humming. He's singing. He's sweet. He's fine. Don't worry about it. You know security talks like that when they see him. Like, yo, uh, 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 be, be aware. So a six foot two guy with dreads. They see him playing the piano, singing. They're like, Imagine oh, he's fine. Works. He's sweet. Got yeah, arrested about for, for trying to steal a piano, bro. The whole thing. That's crazy. Let's pay some bills, Taylor Gang. <laughs> okay. Let's pull it up. Liquid death, I got to pee anyway. I got this. Let me tell you something. I mean this 100%. I know you don't think I'm crazy right now. I mean this 100%. I don't care what other water we got on the set. I mean this 100,000%. This is the best water I've ever had in my life. It looks like it's in a 20-ounce can of beer, okay? Mm -hmm. They're in these beer cans... Even the branding looks like a, like I guess a Miller Lite or something like that, but it is 
the best water I've ever, a 16 ounce, the best water I've ever had in my life. I'll tell you why. The plastic bottle, not only is it like bad for the environment, I don't really give a fuck about the environment, but it is bad for the environment. <laughs> it, it, it's not the same as an ice cold can. Mm. There's something about you drinking like a can of beer, even the can of water, it goes down smooth. It's absolutely fucking amazing. They also have the uh, the seltzer water as well. That's incredible. And I'm telling you, liquid death, seal of approval. It is my favorite water that I've ever tried in my entire life. Okay. So many of us go through life dehydrated. You don't got to do that. That's another thing. Once you crack open the can, you feel like you got to finish it. With these water bottles, you put the cap back on, you put it somewhere. You don't know if it's your water nice. or not. You leave it. You go through 15 waters. You drink a quarter of a day. Never happens with the can. You crack it open. You're like, I'm finishing that bit. And now all of a sudden you're no longer dehydrated. Um, you can get yourself this liquid death. Okay. You can go and you can get it immediately. And this is how I would suggest that you go get it. By the way, there's 100% mountain water from the Alps. None of the processed tap water like most of the major bottle brands. Maybe that's why it tastes so much uh, better. Uh, it's tapped to the sources, purified, while keeping 100% of the original mineral profile, by the way. Very important. Okay. That maintains the flavor. I'm telling you. Death to plastic, okay? Talk about liquid death. They are a, a company that does not want to do this plastic shit. Maybe they saw Seaspiracy. Maybe they just want us to stop growing titties. I don't know what the fuck the exact reason is, but I'm telling you the cans are the best you have to do with it. Now, this is what you can do right now. Get two free koozies with your first order of any case of water at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Remember, it is liquiddeath.com slash idiots, okay? Liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Just hit up their merch store, add the koozie two-pack you want, and you'll get it for free with your first case only at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Okay, now let's get back to the show. All right, we back. Um, okay, let's get into some shit you won't care about next week. First of all, I will care about this next week until I find out when this battle is. But Soldier Boy and Goddamn Bow Wow, okay. come on now, that's the motherfucking verses, all right? Y'all can front on Goddamn Soldier Boy and Bow Wow all y'all want, but y'all not gonna act like musically these two individuals are not super goddamn stars. Yeah, you facts. hear me? That's facts. Taylor Era. You know that's ten facts. songs. You know the ten songs from both of them. Hell yeah! Yes. I don't. I don't know, I don't. but Soldier Boy has. I don't, don't know though. Him. Don't disrespect don't know, Big Soldier. Because Bow Wow got a lot of hits. Don't disrespect like, when Big he was Soldier. Younger. Oh. Don't Come on, man. I feel like I know right. more Soldier Boy songs no, we, than we Bow Wow. Need, we need some more gospel but, ones. Did I you listen to Bow when he was little? Bow Wow. Yeah. Only one Where gospel. Where are my dogs at? Bounce with me, y'all. What? That's only had one gospel song. Okay, let's see. When he was running around the neighborhood, because I can't believe you disrespect Soldier. You don't know Kiss Me Through the Phone, Taylor? I Taylor's do. Taylor's I know Kiss Me Through the Phone, Soldier Girl. Crank That. Crank, Crank That. That's that's pretty Boy one. Swag. I know Pretty, pretty Boy Swag. swag. Pretty, pretty Boy right. Swag. Pretty Boy Swag. Kappa Anthem. Don't yeah. Know. What's Kappa Anthem? Yeah. Yeah. What's pretty Kappa boy? Anthem? No, swag. Kappa Anthem is the Pretty Boy oh. Swag. Boy okay. says swag. Yeah. Yeah. You don't remember that? Yeah, not but that's not a hit. That is going to lose against a Bow Wow song. That's Name not true. Bow Wow song. Turn My Swag On. Gucci Bandana. Gucci Bandana. She Make It Clap. Bird Walk. Y'all play with Soldier Boy. Tell him if you want to. She make it clap, clap. That's not that song, is it? What? No, <laughs> that's not the same. Uh -huh. No, that's not it. <laughs> Which one is that one? <laughs> she make it. Clap. Is that Buster? Tell me the Bow Wow songs. Take me home, bounce. Uh, fresh as I, fresh as fresh I. Fresh in my ears. That's a joint. Fresh in my ears is a joint. Shorty like mine with. Shorty like Chris mine Brown. is a joint. Um, I don't know these songs, bro. All I know is Soldier versus Bow was a great one. He was with H Soldier like that, right? smacking Bow Wow. He was with H Town. Um, Bow Wow. He had a song with them. With H Town. I don't know. H Town knocking the boots. What are you talking about? Yeah, they had what? a song together, right? Bow Wow and H Town. Look it up. I don't, I don't know. Think, think so. they have a song. I'm not Google. I'm not even googling that. Why would I Google that? Or or Jodeci or not Jodeci Boys and Men. It's one of this them. This is what you do on your phone. Are you talking about Jagged Edge? Oh, Jagged Edge. <laughs> I'm about to tell you yeah. on your phone. Google Bow Wow knocking boots and see what comes yes. up. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, but I can't wait for Soldier Boy Bow Wow. What else shit you want to care about next week? Oh, Ocho Cinco. Ocho Cinco's on the undercard of the Logan Paul Mayweather fight. They announced who he's fighting. Yeah. Who? I, who's I who's he fighting, Taylor? This. Pull it up. I would love to see this. I heard Ocho can box, though. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I heard he actually boxes. Yeah, he's a hand eye coordination. He's a catcher. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That means sure nothing. That, that means a whole lot. That means nothing. That means a whole lot. Believe Nate me. Robinson caught a lot. No, okay. he did not. He didn't catch like this man. He was a man's a receiver. It's that different. don't mean nothing in the I mean, he was a basketball man. player. He had great hand eye coordination. So, Floyd Mayweather would be a great re wide receiver? Might if he can sit there and catch. He's 5'9. Oh, Brian <laughs> Maxwell? So no five, there's no short. There's That's no who he's fighting? 
Is it? He's no, fighting. it's another former. It's another former fight. I thought. He has a former fight. I think that's it. Brian Maxwell. Yeah, click that one. No, that's it. That's from May third. No, 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 no. I, we just saw it. Yeah, three there reasons you go. why Brian Maxwell right easily beat former oh, let's NFL click on that. star let's click on that. Johnson. Let's click on that. No, Taylor, oh. go to the other one. Go back. Go back, Taylor. Go back to the earth. Go down, go down. Go down. <laughs> that Three top reasons. Stories. There you go. That there you go. Story. There you yeah, go. Brian I want to see what they say. Yeah. I want to see what they say. Three reasons why. Scroll down. Three re- I don't even know who Brian Maxwell is. Do you know Brian Maxwell? No. 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 He look in shape. That's not yeah. uh, he, He's a BKFC. What is BKFC? Bare Knuckle Fight Clubs. Ooh. Yeah, he ready to fight. Yeah, that's not a great uh, idea. Uh, you gonna fuck okay, him Brian. All right, number one reason Brian Maxwell has a history of amateur fights. Now, listen, I haven't even read all these, but I know it applies to why Jake Paul will be waxed. But Brian Maxwell has a history <laughs> of amateur fights. Okay, so Brian Maxwell grew up wrestling for the major part of childhood. Uh, in college, his roommate introduced him to UFC. Scroll down, Taylor. However, Maxwell would seriously consider a career in MMA as late as 2021. All right, so we get that. All right, we'll go to number two. Brian Maxwell's toughness. I can't watch that. I'm a fiance. Okay, Jake Paul's tough, but I think wax is tougher. All right, scroll down. What's the third one? Brian Maxwell's a combat sports veteran. That's J- important. Yeah, that's important. He's got he got experience in the ring. Okay. I don't know. Maybe Ocho Cinco's just doing it for the fun. We'll see. We'll see. We'll don't see. Get knocked over I already can box, though. I don't, know, how, I don't know what that means, but I heard he can box. I've seen him hit the bag. He looked good hitting the bag. For real? Yeah. I mean, it's easy to look good hitting the bag. But, it's easy. That's what I'm saying. All that type but, of stuff. Uh, shadow he boxing might be able to really good, box, man. bro. Shadow boxing and all that stuff is good. All right, let's see. Manny Pacquiao versus Errol Spence. Speaking of real, real fights. Yo, Manny must need the money, bro, because yeah. I, I would never fight Errol Spence at 40 years old or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck old he is. Mm-hmm. Hell no. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. That's absolutely mm-hmm. crazy. Anybody who thinks Manny Pacquiao is going to beat Errol Spence hasn't watched boxing in years, and Manny Pacquiao <laughs> is the name that they know, and they don't yep. know Earl. They won't, I think they Manny Pacquiao Spence. is the current title holder, though, too. He is? He lost yeah. his, I thought he lost his belts. No, I think he just recently won. He beat Keith Thurman. Remember that? Yeah, that was about a year or so ago. Yeah. All I know is Earl Goddamn Spence is my favorite. My my favorite boxer. He's my favorite boxer, but I, but then Canelo. But oh, I, Canelo's I, amazing. No, bro. come on, man. Come on. Canelo's come on. amazing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, shit, uh, shit you won't care about next week. The Marlon Williams thing was interesting. What is that? Break that down for me. Well, he sat down with Kevin Hart on uh, the Comedy Gold Mines podcast, and he said that the Williams Brothers Scary Movie franchise was was just basically taken from them, from um, from the Weinsteins. Damn. And um, I mean, I thought it was interesting. I, I didn't listen to the podcast. So I don't know if he expounded on it more, but I would like to hear him talk about that more because, you know, at, at the time they did that film, he was younger. Mm. I know he wouldn't let nobody get over on him now as far as intellectual property. So I just mm. want to know what he did but wrong back then. He wasn't younger in terms of like his experience in Hollywood. Like, I mean, you know, Keenan has been while. killing it in Hollywood for decades. That's so true. I mean, yeah, 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 deal, yeah you target. got a big brother that could definitely yeah. school you to the game, but mm-hmm. you know, you want to do things on your own. You don't always want to run the, you know. But it says the Wayans Brothers scary movie for Because I think it was Marlon and uh, yeah, uh, Sean. Sean. Oh, I thought, I mean, no, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just think things should, um, I think information like that should definitely be sent to the public just because, like, you know, you want to know how to avoid making those yeah, mistakes. In the future, yeah. That's 100%. all. That's all. 100%. Um, what else? Anything what else, else we got? Salute, yeah, salute Ebony K. Williams. Holding Court Podcast on the Black Effect. iHeartRadio hey. Podcast Network. Uh, what else we got up there, Taylor? Hey, hold on. I put stuff in, like, the, Uncle Luke, positive, I seen the Uncle Luke. positively brilliant, like Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi and- Goldberg checks Megan McCain on live TV. I like when they do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's live TV. No matter what the heated discussion is, we got to get the commercials. Yeah. And if we down two seconds or we done went past the one, I got to get out. You know what I mean? We'll get over it. I know you might feel like I disrespected you, but hey, man, it is what it is. Uh, Drake won Artist of the Decade at the Billboard Awards. Very deserving. That makes sense. You know, regardless of how you feel about Drake, you cannot deny he was absolutely positively the best artist of the last 10 years 100 it's not it's like it's not even close and yeah. i mean in hip-hop man we haven't seen too many hip-hop people transcend so many different demographics and genres and we do gospel though. shit that he's done nah, don't 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 uh don't tempt him listen we need a gospel song from you didn't somebody just do a gospel song with somebody oh, Kurt Frank- Frank- oh that was hard baby. oh my god 
So, oh, uh, produced by Just Blaze. That record ain't getting the d- attention it deserved, man. I don't know it. Um, it just came out. It came out this week. Like, yo, that Just Blaze so little baby record. He needs to do gospel. Little baby is on a, and I know I'm, I don't. I'm not. Oh, you gonna play it? It's not like we can, we can play music on the podcast. No, we can't play it. Oof! I want Just Blaze to score the rapture. <laughs> when Jesus come back, he got to come back to a Just Blaze beat. When you see when you see that sandal step out the sky, <laughs> and that goddamn who got sandals? Jesus they ain't got no sandals. When you see when you see, see that when you Jesus see them got feet. When you see them, huh? Men don't have sand, men don't have toes. When you see that sandal step out the sky, I want G. I want Just Blaze to uh, provide the soundtrack to it. But little baby is on a. Uh, I don't want. I'm saying this, but don't, please don't don't take it like I'm saying exact same trajectory. A little Wayne like trajectory when it comes to skill, and what I mean by that is there was a period where you could hear sonically little Wayne just get better. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you remember, you've been following him song from day one, he, he could smart. always rap. He was dope, but there was just a moment where you just heard him like. Like Stop. really getting in pocket and really like he's on every honing every his track. craft. Like you like, yo, he on some shit. Like, you know, when they say your players are in the zone, yeah. That's what Lil Baby is is at right now. And if he keeps doing what he's doing, meaning working with producers like Just Blaze and just like not getting comfortable with one sound and just like keep perfecting that pin, that little baby gonna be as special as uh as we think he's gonna be. He's gonna actually be as special as we think he's gonna be. Um, speaking of special too, the DMX album. Ooh, yeah. Good. Yeah, it comes out Friday. Okay. It's called Exodus. Um, Great name. Mm-hmm. It's, it's named after his son. I'm just going to say it's special. I don't want to put too much sauce on it. You know what I mean? But you've heard it. I got it. I got it in my so, laptop. It's, 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 it's special. Wow. It's special. Okay. It's really special. A couple of Nas features. Hove is on it. X it's is new dope. music from X. Yeah, they had an album. Like, if, if you go, you can go back and watch an old interview. Which switched from Breakfast Club in like 2019, and he was talking about how he was working on X album. And X had he he resigned with Def Jam. Gotcha. But Def Jam resigned him for an album. And man, yeah, I'm not gonna say too much. I'm just gonna say it's a very, 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 very special project. That's dope. Very, very special project. I'm sure. All right, uh, what else we got? What other shit we won't care about next week, Taylor? If not, let's do some asking to the yips. You forgot the one thing that happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? You reunited with someone. Who did I reunite with? Really? I don't remember who I reunited with. Um, the man with the nice chain that represents. <laughs> oh, Donnell Rollins. <laughs> <laughs> you want to call Donnell? Let's call. You want to call, call Donnell? Donnell. Oh, let's call He's Donnell, man. <laughs> nah, he in, uh, he went to Austin. Let's call oh, peace, Donnell. Peace. Let That's where you from? Who? Donnell. Nah. No, no I don't know where Donnell at. I'm not home, Austin. That's home base for Where were they doing the Chappelle stuff at? Let me see if he has it. I'm sorry. <laughs> he might not answer. I never say he might. Why is he upset? <laughs> He's like, I, this is my second time calling him today. <laughs> so he might not answer. He's like, nope, he up to something. He up to something. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, up. Donnell. Oh. Uh. <laughs> hold on, 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 hold on. Let me see if he answer. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait. just say somebody want to challenge you and watch me do. He go call right away. No, he's he might be on a flight. I wouldn't um, go through if it was on. A flight. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, he's at Caroline's this weekend, though. But nah, Donnell was cool. I mean, Donnell, like me and Don, me and Donnell don't have no issues. He thought y'all did. Yeah, people have because oh, people be in their feelings. <laughs> I was talking to some, you know, I was man, I was talking to somebody this morning, man, somebody that's actually super cool with us. And they just like, man, I thought you didn't fuck with me. Why you think I didn't fuck with you? <laughs> I ain't talked to you a minute and I text you. You don't text me back. We used to text all the time, yada, yada, yada. I know. When he, if, listen, if I ever fuck with you and I say we friends, we friends. If we don't, if we, even if we don't talk for weeks, months, years, yeah, so you know good. you can hit me up. Yeah, right, you know what I mean? Man. People just be busy. Like it, 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 Sometimes it really do. And people hate to hear this. This person actually hated when I heard said this. Blame it on my mind, not my heart. Cause it really be that way. What do you mean? Do you mean I can be on the phone way? talking to somebody, get distracted, and be. But it's an important call. See yeah. the person call me, and be like, "All right, I'm gonna call him back when I get off." Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then get busy doing some other shit. Oh, that's you know something. What I mean? That's something I do with Charlemagne. Is if we're ever on the phone, and he goes, uh, 
hold on a second to take another call. I just hang up. <laughs> <laughs> you got to know. That's true. I just though. hang up. You got to know. I, I do it with my up. friend because I know what it is. I already yeah. know what's going to happen. I know myself, so, yeah. though. Yeah. So let me call you back. So being so that I know myself, I don't click over no more. And I literally told the person that today. I literally yeah. said, I don't click over. And I was on the phone with her and, and we're discussing it. And I said, look, I just had two calls while I'm on the phone with you. I didn't click over. Yeah. You know what I mean? And guess what? I haven't called either one of those people back yet. Mm. And it's not blatant. I'm not doing it. it because I'm being disrespectful. I'm, we just be busy. Yeah, believe me. I That's just it. Like, I don't I, I don't know what to tell Sorry. I get it with my, my parents, though. Like, my mom was like, oh, now you want to call. Like, she just gives an attitude, everything. I, like I did get off the answer for my pops, though. Why, why, cause certain I, people you have that, to Yeah, certain things you just got to see what's up. But certain people, like, I call them right back. Yeah, I know they got And it. if it's an emergency, if it's two calls in a row, I'm like, okay, hold up. Let me see what's yeah. happening real quick. You know what I yeah. mean? Oh, if you call me two, three times in a row and it's just, I now see what's up with you, yeah. I'm going to curse you the fuck out. Yeah, I don't want to hear that. I, I love mean. you, Donnell. I love you too, Donnell. <laughs> yeah, right. We love you over here on the brilliant. We do <laughs> love Donnell. Donnell, Donnell just love too, you, Donnell. Man. Donnell just jokes. think Donnell thinks people don't respect him. Donnell is the Rodney Dangerfield of comedy. The black Rodney Dangerfield. I said the Rodney Dangerfield of comedy. Yo, he's not a comedian. He he's the black people, Rodney he Dangerfield. People don't respect him. He thinks people don't respect him. No. Yes, he does. Yeah. He thinks people don't respect him. I think that's. He thinks people yeah, don't that's, respect that's him. super off. I think Donnell is like probably one of the most respected on the stage because Donnell's funny as fuck. Like he's he's, I, yeah. he's a beast on stage. Nah, he's a beast. He's a beast. I've he's seen him beast. in Caroline he's where he's, he's at this weekend. I've seen him at Radio City. I told him the night we saw Chappelle, Marlon Wayans, yeah, Donnell, yeah. he was the funniest on that Word stage. Up. Yeah, now nah, Donnell's, Donnell's a fucking monster. Yep. I've been seeing yeah. him kill it for years. The thing is, is that he is sensitive and ball busters, when they know somebody sensitive in general, that's like, you know, flies to shit, bees to honey. Mm -hmm. Like it's a problem. It's on one it. of my toxic traits. Ex exactly, it is exactly. And I but, told him that. But that's not a function of not he, respecting he, he him on stage because he school. can do his fucking thing on stage. He, he must have the private beast. school. Who? He, Donnell must have went to private school. He went to uh, he went to went to real school, like uh, public school. That's what they do all day. Yeah, but that's what I told so him. Now, I said, Don, you already got Donnell spinning right now, like. Fuck, I went to private school, sir. Motherfucker said I went to private school, sir. I ain't no fucking private school, sir. Fuck, you probably went to private school, sir. Probably got some fucking football scholarship, some fucking private school, sir. That's Donnell, though. though. That's Donnell. Yeah. And I even told the story about how back in the day we filmed Guy Court. Yeah. And it was the rap party. <laughs> and we all sitting around having a good time drinking. And I look in the corner and Donnell's just in the corner that's angry Donnell. and mad. No, nah, he's not angry and mad. Donnell just doesn't socialize like that. And I went over to him. I'm like, why are you not in the car? He's like, that's I don't fuck with this type man. of shit, son. Yeah, that's just him. Don't <laughs> don't do that. So why are you here? <laughs> this is his show, bro. He, like, he would be an asshole not to go to the after party for his show. No, you know, he was the it. fucking I judge. It. I get it. But, um... But <laughs> but yeah, he got his... Man, I But you can't say... And what I, was his I, homie's name? What was his homie's name? Who? His homie that would always be with him. With the glasses? I can't remember who... I know you're talking about. 40, not 40, guy. right? Yeah, I can't remember his yeah. name. Damn, I can't remember his name right now. I'm, being, I'm an asshole. But, but no, my bad, too, yo, man. my bad. Hey, don't ask us like... like you heard his bone. Fuck yeah. it up. The thing about Don Donnell, too, is like... You can't say you don't fuck with this type shit because... And I know Chappelle, Chappelle's your friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's not too many bigger stars in the world who attract bigger stars. So when you with Chappelle, you in the mix... You yeah. know what I mean? Maybe maybe that's just his comfort zone, though. Maybe he feels comfortable around Chappelle and them. So mm. even if the Elon Musk are around or the whoever, whoever the stars are at the time yeah. that's around him, maybe he just feels comfortable. You know what I mean? Yeah. But no, Donnell, Donnell funny as shit. He know mm. that. And I don't know why that... It actually hurts me that he thinks he don't get yeah, respect. Yeah, he don't really want to get... I don't think... Like I, 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 that's such a weird thing. I've never heard a comic but say you, he don't respect Donnell. That's my Donnell's point. He don't feel that. Sometimes you got to hear it. Yo, I, t I, say, I tell people that shit all the time. Sometimes you got to feel the love. Remember when Mitch was in Paid in Full and he was like, man, I want to go to the club tonight, man. I just want to feel the love, man. Interesting. Sometimes you just want to feel the love, especially when you got social media and you got yeah. motherfuckers all on social media saying shit all the time and coming at you all the time. Sometimes you yeah. just want to see if there's real, genuine love out there and you don't see that unless you go hit the screen. Yeah. That's it. I did see, the, I did see you capping about the necklace conversation. That's how I felt about the chain, though. Man, you, this guy's such a liar, bro. Yo, he'll recreate any, he'll recreate any reality in his head and go then live the by that reality, bro. Go to the tape. That's what, we can't go to the tape. Go we to the tape. We literally have this conversation, three of us. We're like, yo, can you I was laughing at y'all. Name, name on the chain. Saying? We're like, no. I was laughing at y'all. I wouldn't do it. 
That, what? That's all. That's it. Done. <laughs> Done. Done. I didn't tell you that I would do it. On the show, you were like, I do do it. I, no, I, no, 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 I no, 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 no. The way Donnell explained it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Donnell explained it. No, no. Cultivated. Donnell, it Donnell explained it saying, this is for Chappelle's show. It was a show I was a on it, that please. helped be successful. Respect. And I said, I understand that because I wear Duval Rich Broke chain. But their comics that did, did, did wear it, they had nothing to do with the show. Really? Yeah. Like who? I thought I saw Michelle Wolf wearing it. But she's Team Chappelle, though. So is it Team Chappelle or is it the Chappelle show? Because if it's, <laughs> if it's Chappelle show, I get it 100%. You built that show in him, bro. Like, yeah. you have some of the most iconic yeah, characters yeah, 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 in yeah, yeah, performance yeah. on but that show completely. I think if yeah. there's anybody who can wear a Team Chappelle chain for all of the, everything we're talking, it's definitely done that. Definitely. Definitely. God, and God bless Charlie Murphy. You know what I mean? Because if Charlie Murphy sure. was alive, Yo, he'd probably be out there with them too. He got to sure. wear a Charlie Murphy chain. The C stands for Charlie Murphy. That's what you should tell people. C C. The C stands for Charlie. Charlie Murphy. probably wouldn't do that yeah. though. Charlie wouldn't want him to do it. No, Charlie probably wouldn't do that because I mean he's a Murphy. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, 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 yeah you yeah, can't like, do that. Like you can't if you got you got to pick your goat. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's either gonna be Eddie or it's gonna be Dave. So like, like Eddie's such a goat, you could wear his name on it. I think you could wear his name on a chain. Actually, nah, I couldn't. He got to die, bro. He got to die. His name or initials? You got a Chris Child shirt on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute to Chris Child. I'm going to take this off at the end of the day. No. I'm not wearing it every day. But you guys know. Listen, Chris Child is dope, right? Yeah. I'm Sorry, mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with wearing shirts of dope people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Child is dope, right? Yeah, I mean. So I don't think there's anything wrong with wearing shirts of dope people. Chris Child clearly inspired you in some way, shape, or form. You're a New York guy. You're a Nick guy. Nick's in the playoffs. Chris Child was a tough guy. If I wore this shirt every single day of my life, you would come up to me and be like, hey, bro, you got any other shirts? I would definitely say that. <laughs> I, I, never, I never wore a shirt with somebody on it for representing something. I if, just wore it on just to have it. Yeah, I never even like, I'm going shirt. to the Knicks game tonight, so I'm going to wear some Knicks shit. And instead of wearing the same jersey everybody else got, I'm going to wear a little bit more unique thing. I just wear YT. YT works too. Yeah. Just yeah, with YT. <laughs> you, you, you doing a podcast with us, bro? Well, now you gonna look. Now you gonna look at us like we like we started texting. Why y'all stop talking? Now, know, like, like, we are talking to you. About we are you talking know. to you. How? Hey, hey, listen, hey, hey, listen, hey, bro. Hey, bro. This is why you can't. Come on, come on, come on. This why you can't with him, bro. He listen, said hey, something. Hey, hey, Donnell, keep posting. Keep listen. posting the videos of him he, looking he, sweet. Hey, he not gonna stop no way. Sweet ass Instagram clips. Hey, he not gonna stop no way. Listen, I did just Amanda. He putting the hey, fucking the gas listen, on. Him. Earlier, I'm on a Zoom with Amanda Seals, right? Yeah. And Amanda goes, "I'm not gonna talk to you if you're on your phone." I said, "I'm not on my phone." She goes, "I'm looking at the top of your hat." And so I go. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> Leaving the phone on the fucking table? <laughs> Leaving the phone on the table. Like, See how he lies, bro? This motherfucker, piece of shit. Oh, man. Let's do some uh, Asking Idiots Taylor game. Okay. <laughs> um, I hate phones. Yo, yeah, stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Stop no, they're it. like a drug, man. It's like waxing around pussy. No. Wow. 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 Cured. I'm just playing. <laughs> Baby. Look how he gets. <laughs> <laughs> he starts to wedding. Y'all don't know what I go through. All right, that's good. What I we love got? my girl. All right. Um, Miller Light Poppy wants to know, what is one thing you regret from early in your career? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Where do we begin? <laughs> I'm be honest with you, and I'm, I'm being dead serious. I have regrets, but it's weird because I can't regret them. Nope. And I'll tell you why. Because you wouldn't get me now if you didn't get me then. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Practice. And we we really live in this era where we're, we're, we're really crucifying people for playing, playing by the rules they were, they were at the time. There's this thing uh, I, was I was reading about the, uh, the Overton window. I just want y'all to Google it, and I'm probably going to explain it all fucked up. But it's basically this thing politicians used to use, and, and the language they used to use and the things they used to talk about were based on what was happening in the climate at the time, mm. right? So it was some things that they might have talked about in the 50s didn't serve them anymore in the 60s. You know what I mean? Mm. I weren't even considered like, good policy anymore, good things to talk about anymore. Right. And it's the same thing with what we do as comedians, as radio personalities, as y'all podcast hosts, y'all gonna see, YouTubers, y'all gonna see. The way things are now, they're not gonna be five years from now. Yeah. Mark my words. Yeah, sure. The way things are now, they're definitely not gonna be 10 years from now. So it's gonna be things that we talking about now that we thought was acceptable. And then five years from now, somebody gonna be on your ass about them. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think that's, fair yeah. but I don't regret it I, re I can't regret it the main reason I can't regret it, regret it is because 
You live and you motherfucking learn. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. it. I think if you're grateful for where you are right now, it's hard to regret your past. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not right. I'm not, like I like where I'm at right now. I think it's amazing. I'm super grateful. So if I do something different in the past, I might not get here. I might yeah. not be in this exact situation. So I, I like. I'm sure I can find things that maybe uh, I wish I did differently. You know, I wish I did better. Absolutely, I wish yeah. I paid more attention to. Probably but went harder at it. Yeah, but like I, I'm not upset at where I'm right now. Nah, I'm so in love with where I am right now. So I love it. Experience yeah, is the best teacher, though. And you never got caught jerking off by your mom. You ever got caught jerking off by your mom? That'd be something you regret to do. But not anything like that, I'm straight. Even that, you can't regret. Come on, no, like, no, 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 no. Cause you, nah, I regret. I you learn character, something from that. Bro. Yeah, you learn how to lock a door. That's it. You know what I mean? Oh, you you right, okay, time. You lock the me. goddamn yeah. door. Yeah. And sure stop when home. mommy walks in. Yeah, Why you still jerking? Why you still jerking when mommy walks in? You knew walking. she was walking, bro. You knew she was walking. Me. Praise the Lord. You're alive. Praise the Lord. I guarantee he would never jerk off a day in my life again if my mom caught me. What the fuck? This guy's this guy's crazy. Crazy. This guy's crazy. All right, give us another yeah. friend, Taylor. Yeah. Right. Um, and by the way, you're gonna have to learn to live with regret if you're really moving the way you're supposed to move in life. Yeah, and I'm what really I mean, conscious. and one more thing, it's like when you um when when you make mistakes, you're gonna learn from mistakes and you're going to regret things, but you're gonna have to learn to live with regret. Cause to me, if you don't have no regret, you ain't trying shit. Yeah, mm. That's Literally. how I feel. Literally. All right, what do we got? Um, well, this drug. one, um, this that '90s flow. If you can, okay. If you can add or remove anything from the human body, what would it be? What do you mean remove? Like, I mean, I'm asking '90s flow, like, like remove, like permanently, or remove on a case by case. You put basis. back on, like you put your yeah, like back if, on. Exactly, like if your girl could take your dick when you go out of town, stuff like that. What do you odor. Mean? Um, Ooh. Huh. Odor. Your takeaway odor. Yeah, just get rid of odor. All smells, right? Nah, not all no. smells, just the trash ones. Like, odor, get that out of here. Now, the, the tricky thing with odor is that's how you know you're clean. Mm -hmm. So maybe if we didn't have odor, people wouldn't shower as much and it'd be whack. But like, mm -hmm. odor is just... Yeah. What do smells... Why do we? Why did God make smells on our body anyway? To tell us alarmus. Yeah. To tell what? It's alarmus. Alarmus is something wrong, Smosh. man. The Fuchi, bro. If she mm. got the Fuchi, is something it's wrong down right. And it's an alarm. That's all it is. A solid alarm. Okay. Facts. Okay, Nothing like got, in Taylor? the intestines or not like. No? Fuck nah, up. nah, fuck nah, up. nah, nah, nah. They do that on your other Earth, Taylor. The yeah. Earth that you need better pictures of. Give me one. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is funny as fuck. Cro in the community, Slim said, "Where are thou hoes? How might thou acquire the hoes?" Look <laughs> 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 at the one up there. What's what? That's easy. Who would win? Andrew. Who would win? Oh, who would? This is from <laughs> L-J-S-U-K-H-O-O. -O. Uh, who do you think would win in a boxing match, Wax or Andrew? Andrew. Andrew all day. Light work, bro. <laughs> You yeah, think like, I can beat Andrew? Light work, bro. No way. Come on, you ain't dog. Never seen Andrew Head in the movement ring, bro. crazy. I'm trying to tell you. I would definitely nah. lose. I, it, it would have the same outcome of me and Jake Paul and me, me and him. I'll yeah, probably. <laughs> you definitely lose to Jake Paul. All right, real I life. Like real that. life. Reggie asks, yeah. "What was the worst financial decision you've made?" I'll tell you mine. Buying Bitcoin at sixty fucking thousand dollars a coin. That was the worst one I've made. Really? Yeah. What? I bought Bitcoin at the height. Why? Oh my god! Because I'm an idiot, bro. <laughs> I'm fucking dummy. Anything I invest in goes down unless it's myself. The only thing I can invest in and it does well is me. Outside uh, of that, any company, business, or whatever, it's gonna go down. Oh my god! Yeah. My my worst investment was to give a girl some food that didn't give me pussy. What about what? the what about <laughs> the chicken? Right what about the chicken farm, Wax? What about the chicken farm? It's still good. Oh, you're yeah. good with the chicken farm? No, I'm no. Saying, I, 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 I'm actually doing other things with the building and stuff like that. So I'm actually doing. But are you all. doing chickens anymore or no? no. Mm -hmm. So that was a bad investment. No, nah, I mean I'm still using everything that I did. I mean, I remember sold the when you were off. illegally slanging chickens? That's what I. That's why. <laughs> that I, shit is hilarious. They they, give, they they give me the rest of the permitting, so I had to shut it down. But I still I got the building and stuff like that. I'm gonna reuse everything. So God I, I don't know what he means by financial decision. Does that mean like if you loan somebody some money? I mean I've loaned people money that you know I regretted they gave it to them because they Ooh. ended up being terrible people. Ooh. Yeah, and there's no need to say. Oh, tell me, nah, bro. I, I tell you after the way. But you know they ended up being terrible people. But I, I haven't really made um. Any terrible financial decisions? I, I mean, I yeah. I mean, maybe I will soon because I'm just really starting to get into the stock thing. I mean, I had I got an S and P 500, but now I'm starting to like buy individual stocks. Mm, but I'm gambling, bro. Be careful now. But I tell you what, I'm only You're investing addicted. in things that I really 
fuck with. Like, I bought some AMC stock. AMC stock been jumping. You know what I mean? I, 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 I only bought it because I started seeing all the movie commercials. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm going to buy some AMC oh, stock. And it's funny because Head, Sots Utah guy, DJ Head, Head texted me one day and he was like, bro, you need to buy some AMC stock. And I said, yo, that's so crazy you said that. I've been telling my financial people that for the past couple of weeks. So I bought some and literally the day after I bought it, it shot up like 15%. And right now it's up like 19%. Cool. So, well, I've I don't never know. Experienced I don't, and by the way, like by the way, I don't even know what the fuck that means. I know you don't. I have no, <laughs> I have, I have I no idea what the fuck I, that I, means. I bought some stock on a phone and I don't know what the fuck I did. My boy's like, yo, put it to this and do this. And I'm like, all right. And I never even looked at it. I don't even know where to go. That should have been your worst financial decision you ever made. Yeah. yeah. That should have been the answer to that question. Uh, you just bought a stock you didn't know just because. Jemaya told me to go do it. And hopefully one day he'd be like, wax, you look at it. And I look at it like, oh, $20 million. Like, okay, great. No, that's not going You are real you life Forrest Gump. <laughs> I don't. Not you are me. Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude. Run. Just run. Now, do you never remember Forrest Gump where he, he said, I invested in a fruit company. And then it was Apple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're right. Something like that would happen. Yeah, I'm trying to tell. I don't no, know no, no, something like that My would happen. My dude said, yo, this is going to go crazy. How long ago was this? A couple of weeks ago. What like, was it? Um, let me see. I'm going to check it out. Let me see. Because he put it in some type of app thing. And he was like, just put 500 in there, there and just watch Wax. And I just like, all right. And I really don't even know what it is. Like, I went, I went out to eat last night. And they was like, who ordered this? I ain't say nothing because I don't know what the fuck I ordered. I had the lady order for me. So they, oh, everybody sitting there the whole time like, who the fuck ordered this food over here? And I didn't know. So this is my life. Wait, what does that have to do I with know, the story? I know, like, you're so <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you were talking about stocks, bro. I, I, didn't, too I, didn't, much. I, didn't, I don't know. what I thought you were talking about investments. That's the exact same thing what I'm trying to say. I didn't know what the fuck I ordered for the stock. I don't know what the fuck I ordered for my for food. For the meal. Okay. Just, like, just call like, at what me. Are like, it just how much me, did I make? It I just sounds something? to me like you need to start paying attention. Yeah. I get it, what but I don't want to pay attention to that type of stuff. Just feed me, and if I can get some money off this, put the money there and make it happen. Okay. What the fuck it got to be all the big words This is from... A uh, A V O L X V E. You, you each get one superpower. What would it be? I already know mine. What What would yours be, Taylor? Mind control. What? Mind control. Oh, word. I what can just Jesus. make people believe anything, and then I, I'm, I'm, I'm you, you got a Twitter. Invisible. What about mouth yeah. control? If you got Twitter, if you got Twitter, <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> Yo. If you got Twitter, Instagram, <laughs> YouTube, you know what I mean? You can make people believe anything. Kind of no, right. I'm talking about like as in like people going to believe that I'm the queen of the world and stuff like that. Like Whoa. I'm going to have stuff like so that. So why don't you just become the queen of the world? Yeah. Do you really want to be the queen? Yo, that shit is mad If you really want to be the queen of the world, you would act like you're the queen of the world right now. And you have no, a but I want to tell people what to do. Superpower got to be in this life of question. Get a husband. Superpower got to be got a husband. <laughs> what the fuck are you what? talking about? <laughs> You want to tell people to do it. Okay, you got one guy right there. Get another one. Yo. I want... I got to listen. Superpower, Wax. What would your superpower be? Being invisible. Invisible. Invincible. 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 Yeah. I'm, I'm, you don't want to die? Like, no, I'm just saying. If I want to just, like, be clear real quick. That's invisible. not invisible. Yo. <laughs> Get out. Hey. Get out. What the fuck that mean, then? What hey. I say? Hey. No, but I understand that though. Like I did not understand no, that. No, 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 no. I don't understand the mistake, but I understand why he would want to be why he would want to be invisible. Like you're a big black dude your whole life. People yeah. are constantly yeah, looking yeah, at yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It must be amazing to be able to just like fit in and even one step further fit in, be not seen. I yeah, get that. Oh my god, you should have seen I went into a, a restaurant the other day and I promise you know you hear chairs, like you know somebody fart is like you hear the chairs like the yeah, yeah, record stop. I yeah. walked through this spot and I could hear chairs and stuff and everybody doing. I'm like, I know you didn't fart. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. But everybody else had suits on. I dressed like I was dressed like this. Yeah, you be trying to go to jail. <laughs> like he be trying not to get served at restaurants. <laughs> like you know what I mean. You be trying to get profiled. <laughs> like why? No, nah, they actually everybody started. You know, I say, hey, wait, what's going on? And stuff. Yeah, people and feeling you out. To, they want to make yeah. sure you ain't yeah, the goddamn shooter. Trying to kill nobody. Because I do that to people. I'm like, yeah, you got a lighter. This, you know what I'm saying? Everybody always go like this. They got to he, and why? And he do it at the stupidest places like the gas pump. You Bro, know man, what, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> the gas pump. Hey, man, you got a lighter? What the fuck? 
<laughs> why would you do? Because he's crazy. Well, listen to him. Hold on. <laughs> what, what do they do when you're asking a lighter? What does that achieve? Wait, what does that do for you? No, if I want to like check somebody out or something, I ask them they got a lighter. Just see how aggressive they are and stuff like that. Or no, I just, like, he just trying to see if they hit their foot. I make a stick and go like this to their foot, and they always gonna look down. I just check them out, see their aggressiveness, see what's going on. What does that mean? <laughs> If I ask you for a lighter, one thing I see if you got a gun on you, because you always gonna go like this, it's just something that just happens. Oh, and then you're gonna touch the place where the gun is? No. When, when they do it, they, they gonna go like this, and I can see like the print of their shirt is something if they got you're it. You looking at his print? So you're gonna yes, look at a guy's print. Okay. okay. His okay. waist print, actually. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, they got okay, a gun okay, on okay. them or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know yeah. when you take your, your dick sometime when it's hard and you pull it up over the sweatpants? You know what I mean? So it stays up here? Never, done. never did that. You never did that? No. You're a lie. We talked about it on Guy Code. We had a whole Guy Code segment he about it. I lied about, about it. it. Nobody did okay. that. Before. I'll well. do it. I put that shit in my shoulder. Well, that's what wax <laughs> means. That's what wax means about waist <laughs> I put, I tuck that shit right up here. Nah, for real. I, I, I always did that. I'm like, yo, bro, you got a lighter? If I can see if he aggressive, man, make the fuck out of here. I'm going to no lighter. So you ask him for a lighter and you're looking at his print. No, <laughs> I either step on his foot and see how aggressive That's he flirting. is. All this shit is flirting. Yeah, you're no, you playing footsie with him. You're looking at the bar, dog. That's what this is. Exactly. You're playing with him. You ain't Nah, but I got something on fire. You got a lighter? Nah, but I want some smoke. Woo! Listen, it's just a lighter. You got something to smoke. Yo, I got to check this people out. bro. You got a lighter? You got some of the smoke? No, you got a lighter? I'm trying to get high. Oh, shit, bro. All right. Let's get this last question by Jalen Clem. Jalen Clem. Now you Clem. never said what your superpower would be, bro. Uh, what would my superpower be? I've always liked Wolverine superpowers, man. I like um the healing factor. Ooh. Mm, but dope. that ages you crazy, though. No, it don't. It does. It prevents yeah. you from aging. Nah. No. Every Wolverine? Time, every time he Wolverine came is back, like he got 200 sick years old or something crazy because he oh, I'm fine ate. with that, though. But he didn't, he didn't age physically. As long as you don't age physically. He did good. become Old Man Logan. I forgot I became Old Man but Logan. But listen, what about if you clear? Is it clear color? Yo. Nah, if you're invisible, like, you're, just invisible. you're just invisible. You're clear just clear at the airport, the bro. Is behind you. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. What's clear for real? Is this clear? Because I don't want to be this. Nah, you're not going to be plastic. You're just going to be whatever is behind you, bro. Like you just, It's going to look like a chair. It's going to look like the wall. So I'm not here for clear. <laughs> hey, bro. What's hey, bro. Clear the so, same thing? Wax, else, hey, wax. my superpower is just ignoring wax. Hey, that's it's, the it, only listen, superpower. It's 2021. Wax, you can identify with whatever you want to identify. Yo, okay? that's facts. If you want to be clear, all right, whatever. Do your thing, okay? All right, but what, what, what's, what's really invincible, right? If you're invisible and clear, isn't clear something different? It's invisible. invisible. All right, invisible is like, don't be there at all. Yes. yes. What the fuck is clear? Oh, that's a good point. He's actually that's making That's clear. The plastic nah, is clear. I just that, said that. That's the plastic a good not point. Clear. The plastic I don't want to be clear. He doesn't want to no, be clear. See. He wants to be invis I, I, invisible. Yes. Let me that's add. interesting. Clear would just mean you're empty. Like you can see your Hell. organs and shit. Yeah. yeah. Let me ask oh, definition wow. of clear. Clear means you can see right through. Definition mm. of clear. Like plastic is clear. That Dunkin' Donuts easy thing to, is clear. Easy to perceive, understand, or interpret. Transparent, unclouded. The clear glass of the French window. So yeah. yeah, that bottle is clear. I don't want to be clear. You don't want to be clear. You want to be invisible. I want, I want you can't see me at all. I'm at all. Shit out of you. Exactly. Like ghosts. But wait a minute. Do, okay. Do you want someone to be able to touch you even though yeah. you're invisible? Or invisible do you want to not exist? Or, yeah. I still need to smash some shit. I mean, my girl. So you exist. <laughs> you walk around, but you just can't be seen. <laughs> I don't want you to see me. But you still can pick things up and put them down. Yes, I want to be able to smack the shit out of people for no reason. <laughs> okay. I can get on airplanes for free. Why do you want to, why are you, how are you going to get Where are you going to be on the airplane? Oh, Where are you, you going to stand on the airplane, bro? Wait. Where are you going to be on the airplane? I don't know. You, I'm with the pilots. I'll be right, right next to them chilling. You just want, you want to smack people, but yet you want to test people out and flirt with them to see if they're aggressive. That don't make no sense. What are you talking about? Just earlier, you were just saying how you want to, you ask them if they have a lighter to check if they're aggressive and not. When did you okay. get dreads? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me see, let me see what she's talking about. Like, okay. But I'm saying, know that. but so why are you doing that if you're going to be the aggressive, if you're invisible, you want to smack people? For what? You want to be oh, invisible to smack people? this last question is good. Sorry. That's, that's cool. That's why you want to be invisible, just to be able to smack yeah, just like smack that. people. I just don't want people to see me all the time. Hey guys, I'm sorry to interrupt. If anybody's still listening, we have one more question. <laughs> yeah, this is silly. I think we lost them at Invincible yeah. Invisible. No, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck uh, she's talking about. I just about. don't understand the contradictor. I definitely Jaylen think we lost them at Invincible Invisible. This is a good question. Thoughts on women proposing to men? Stupid. Sucker. Dumb. 
dumb as hell. Sucker. Dumb, yeah. uh-huh, he got you. Because if dumb. a girl proposed, do we have to pay them for the You got to pay the ring? Right? Y'all got to pay the ring. I don't got to pay the ring. I don't got to pay the ring then. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. You just ask yourself okay. to marry you and then put the ring on yourself? That's <laughs> pathetic. Kind of I'll tell you something. I have no problem with it. Um, But what I haven't seen yet is a fire female proposal. Son, Men I proposals know. be dope. Did y'all see the thing? On, I don't know who did it. I, I'm a little <laughs> detached, but like... Did y'all see the girl who had the gender reveal for the fake pregnancy? I heard about that. I didn't see. I I, I didn't Holy read it, but I heard about it. Shit, bro. That why did she do that? Fake. I don't know. She faked the pregnancy and then went through a whole gender reveal no. and like oh, yeah, popped the thing that. and it's like blue or pink, or whatever. And she's going, "Let's go!" Like no, no full well. She got just drunk that empty. night. <laughs> she <laughs> forgot she was. Just- <laughs> I don't know who the girl is. Who is she? Know. She thought she wasn't pregnant. Bro, that is hysterical. Bro. I have no problem with women proposing to men, but I need all women out there to know just you being a woman is not enough. You got to put the same type of thought into your proposals the way men do. Yeah, but imagine how upset you get like your girl gets down on her knees and you're like, ah, shit. And then she give you jewelry. I'm going to get hit in front of all these people? Yeah, your yeah. mom right here? Yeah. What you <laughs> like, all right, whatever, yo. It is what it is. Do Who's what somebody do pulling me down? <laughs> mom like, that ain't how you do it, baby. You ain't going to never get the ring doing it like that. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't have a problem with it, though. I mean, I... I mean, I, you, honestly, you would you would take your girl seriously if she proposed to you? Man, I don't. The way the world going, do I have a nah, choice? I feel, I, feel, I feel like I, <laughs> I, 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 I lost as a man. No, I lost as a man. Like, <laughs> damn, you got to do that. Like, nah, bro. I, I, I told my girl that if we got a pair of pants, I'm not gonna put one leg in and you put the other leg in. You see what I'm saying? I don't need you to do my job. I feel like that's my job to do that. It might what be traditional. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'm just saying, I, 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 I got no, to do the man no. duties. No, no, I want to no. do the man duties. No, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> this is why we can't focus on aliens. <laughs> because we too busy dealing with the earthlings like wax. Trying <laughs> to figure this shit out. Yeah, aliens is too else? much. I, listen, what did he just that say? That being a man supposed to wear the pants. If I Don't don't make us both have to wear the pants. If I, don't make me have to put one side, my, one of my legs in and you put the other leg in. But what if you guys are doing like one of them uh, potato runs? <laughs> then that's what we're doing. And my ball's going to be hanging on the other side. Why are your ball so big? I don't fucking know. That's an idiot. <laughs> Why? I don't get the pants thing. I don't Me understand either, it either, uh, but I'm not trying to figure it out. Uh, uh, we wear the pants. If I, a man's supposed to wear the pants in the relationship. Says who? Says who? In my What's house, really I'm wearing the, the pants. pants. What's really what does that mean? You, you don't run shit in your house? I don't, but that's why she I wear the pants. Phone. She got your DMs. Yeah. You're not so wearing I, no I, pants, I like this, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm the head, I'm the nah, head of my bro. household. And the girl, the woman is a neck. Nah. And you can't do nothing without the control of the neck. You see what I'm saying? So Why y'all wearing the same pants, though? That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, why can't you have your own pairs of pants or why can't she wear I a skirt? I want my own pair of pants. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't do my duty. Don't do my job. I'm well, supposed to be the one to propose. Stop wearing pants that she can fit because them goddamn, <laughs> them yoga pants that you got on right now. I wash my own clothes. Them yoga pants shrink. is tight as fuck, okay? Is that all we got, guys? These fucking pants Yo, are good, it's man. It's good to be back. Yeah, I'm glad to have Hezzy back. Next week, we'll be yeah. in the brewing of this studio. Let's go. Um, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. And thank you for listening to uh, the Brilliant Idiots podcast recorded at WTF Media yeah. Studio. Uh, thank you, uh, Weezy and Alex, for letting us use the thank studio. Thank you so much, While man. Schultz was in Miami. Keep up the great work. Yeah. Yeah, but we okay. out this bitch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs>